let's talk about last week. You guys, our intrepid pathfinders, uh, have been spending some downtime in Magnamar. You've been shopping for some magic items. You've been crafting some magic items. You've been shopping for some mundane gear, selling treasure, uh, just kind of relaxing following a deep dive into the crow in an ancient Magnamar Magnamarian, Thassilonian ruin in Magnamar. As the rogue you had been hiring to act as a trap smith and a lock picker is incapacitated, she connected you with another contact, one who some of you had worked with before, the professional thief, Mariziel Silvari. And you tracked her down and caught her in the middle of a heist in which she was uh, stealing a male fertility statue made out of solid gold. As you do. And was in, well, being pursued by a group of Skarni who she had made enemies of. You were able to catch up to her and ultimately to help her lose track of the Skarni who were following her and were able to kind of catch your breath at the Church of Sarenray in Lowcleft, Magnamar. So now things have calmed down a little bit. Your pursuers are no longer behind you. And here you all are. What would you guys like to do? Uh, I believe you wanted to wait a day or something, Freya. Uh, We're waiting for her to get back. Uh, well, uh, I need spell, so yeah. <clears throat> I right. Is anybody hurt? Because I, mm. I think I healed up everybody. Where is any of you wikis hurt during that chase? I wasn't, but thanks. I think just Marizial was hurt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They weren't really paying attention to us. Uh, I'm good now, though. Fair. So I'm ready to go. Well, I'm okay with waiting a day. It's up to you. We can do, we go. Want, do we want Faye at the full or no? Uh, we can go in nine hour. <sighs> nine, not eight. Nine. Well, eight for rest, one to uh, travel. Spell with Daji. Oh. It take one hour to get spell ready. You sure you can go now? Uh, I have cantrip. Uh, okay. Uh, you did cast <laughs> quite a bit during that chase, didn't you? I wanted to see how powerful it was. Very, very good. I mean, well, I I appreciate it. Probably be but, dead otherwise. Mm, nah. But <laughs> I want to go back and get that man's skull from the skeleton. <laughs> Don't what? I'm saying that out of character to our <laughs> What's I, would, I wouldn't tell the you guys. We gave You're gonna have to do that best. in character. I'm not giving that to you. Oh. <laughs> we, but just oh. a heads up, we gave that one away and they picked it up already. No, 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 no. No, we did. She no. means the skeleton that she animated that tore its way out of the still living body of the guy around it. <laughs> oh, that one. Oh. <laughs> uh, I need, I need bone. So <laughs> I want to go get. Uh, Setia, come with. You. Ah, uh, I don't think I'm what you're looking for, honey. <laughs> what? What does Garni want? Revenge. Come, come. I just There's a him. lot of bone there. <laughs> <laughs> what? Faya, where are we? Why? Where are we heading? It's literally. You, say you need like a bone, and minutes. now you're asking me to follow you. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, literal bone. I'm I start like mumbling in Minkayan. Did you see one go back out. through the chase? Sure, let's. I'll humor you. Let's go. And oh. is everyone going, or is this just going to be Feya and Seltiel? It should only take ten minutes to just go grab the head, right? Because the building wasn't that far Good. from where they were. 
It was a few blocks away. I can offer no comment as to how much time it will take. Because something might happen. I mean, do we... Do we really need to go back to find this bone? I need things! <laughs> <laughs> Weren't there other... We could probably find other bones in the, the crow, could we not? But I, this was my work. My master. Oh. Listen, if you really... If you really want it, sure. Okay. If it's going to help you with your spells, then yes. Da. Also, Sayoni, Feya, if we are going to spend the night tonight, make sure you cast whatever spells that you want into that little uh, pearl. You can keep the healing in there if you want, but if you want something else for tomorrow. No, I saw Infernal Healing Connection, and I think I'll switch it up. Thanks. They are yours. Do what you want. All right, Feya, let's head back. Oh, no. So oh. what are Sayoni, Mariziel, and Olak doing? Uh, so shall I meet you somewhere tomorrow, or? I don't know. Uh, well, let's go grab you a free room or something. Free room? We could probably stay in the same place that we are, right? Where are you staying? At the Hyde March Manor. The Pathfinder Society. Ooh. Ooh, yeah, I want to stay there. You get me a room there? Well, why not? I'm gonna go grab some more paint. Hmm. Yes. <laughs> I'm sure that they would welcome a new companion to our group, since the other one is... out of commission. Oh. Not dying. Not dying, just... Uh, to clarify, Lyrianne is, is alive and well and continuing to work. I think you meant Natalia. Yeah, Natalia. Oh, Natalia was just a high Lurian is, is as well. Okay. They're both. They both are. Mm -hmm. Both those? No. <laughs> no? Okay. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> those aren't both accurate statements then. Never mind. <laughs> so, should I assume then that the three of you are going back to the summit? To the Alabaster District? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So... You depart um, while Feya and Seltiel, you begin backtracking and you make it all of one block before you can see that there are groups of Skarni uh, <laughs> patrolling the streets, uh, not quite going door to door, but they are visibly looking for uh, something or someone in force. You also notice that they are communicating with the Callistrian clerics who've been patrolling this area. Uh, and the Callistrians look like they're also looking for someone or something. I'm going... So we're just walking and seeing this, yeah? Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm going to uh, grab Fea's arm. Just slowly turn in the other direction. <laughs> All right. Fea. I will not resist. No, <laughs> I, no I'm and gonna just, actually lace just, my arm with yours. Yep, and... yep. Just, just walking <laughs> along. Nice stroll today. Dodgy will do the about face with you. Perfect. Yep, uh, just... Perfect unison. You know, staying in formation. <laughs> oh, Faya, we need to leave. Need Faya. Oh, I want that. I want it. Go. Listen, I'm sure there'll be other bones. <laughs> we need to leave now, and we'll turn a corner and start sprinting. I'm not sprinting. I'm innocent, man. Uh, no, you're not. <laughs> no, you're not. You're, not. <laughs> you're the opposite of that. I don't know what you're talking about. She means no one she was... has to pretend to be innocent. <clears throat> yes, I love the architecture here, don't you, darling? <laughs> Just a great. Why don't both of you I go ahead and make bluff it. checks for me? Oh, fuck. <laughs> there we go. Oh, no! It I begins again. Up. Twelve! <laughs> Twenty! Oh, okay, all right, all right. What about... Okay. That is just a fuck. <laughs> the Callistrians... Or one of the Callistrians seems to notice you, and she squints kind of curiously and goes to one of the Scarny taps says something, kind of points after you guys. Skarni gives one brief glance, shakes his head, and then they keep going about their business. <laughs> Yay! 
<laughs> I just wanted my skeleton head. <sighs> So I'm just going to move everyone back to the Alabaster <laughs> District then. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, how are you? That's good. Yeah, that seems so fair. in two groups, you make your way out of Low Cleft, back to Dockway, uh, through the markets of the Bazaar of Sales, and up the long, smooth ramp to the summit. And from there into Nos, the Capital District, past Indros called Verdrarch, and finally to Hyde March Manor in the Alabaster District. Uh, the door guards give their usual questions, just asking for your business. You, at this point, you've gotten accustomed to that. They let you in. Uh, you are in Hyde March Manor. This is so nice. I assume they probably secured a room by the time that Faye and I got back. They weren't very far ahead of you guys. It took you uh, all of five minutes to... Uh, to turncoat? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. But for all points and purposes, uh, Sheila Hydemarch is happy to provide lodgings for any working Pathfinder. As long as you have something to offer the society. And actually, she seems happier to have Mariziel around here than, frankly, most of the rest of you. Mariziel's something of a known... Entity to the Hyde March staff. Oh. Where's Charles? <laughs> Charles is currently cleaning in the library. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so, does anyone else have anything to do today, or can we start resting and then go in the middle of the night like we did last time? I'm good. Can I brew another potion while I rest? Uh, no, but technically you have the rest of the day in addition to... so Not while you rest, but you could do it before you rest or after. Technically it only takes you one hour to brew a potion, as long as you okay. have the supplies and facilities to do so. Mm -hmm. I would like to try and do that, and I want to try and milk Dodgy again. <laughs> God. Huh? <laughs> so weird. <laughs> okay. The uh, word harvest. No, it says milk. <laughs> extract, extract. The Just term, the term, technically is milk. I know. It just <laughs> sounds weird. She is milking venom from Dutch. So go ahead and make your survival check. Guys, act like I'm doing anything extra weird. You guys are the weird ones by making it weird. I don't know. I mean, you're, you're milking a fox. fox. You've had dodgy this whole time. Natural twenty. Wow. It was a DC twenty, so you actually succeed in uh, milking some venom from him. Get that? Isn't the rolling a nat twenty? Uh, you have no chance of poisoning yourself, but you are able to get uh, one dose of dodgy's venom. Note, when applying that venom to a weapon, there is still a risk of accidentally exposing yourself to it. When I do it? Mm-hmm. Only when apply. Well, when whoever does it. Oh. Even if you just, like, pour it on? Mm-hmm. Like, there is a 5% chance. Basically, on a d20, if you get a 1, you accidentally uh, get yourself. Okay. Because it's not enough just to dump it on. You've got to, like, uh, carefully apply it to the bladed edge. Yeah. Using a cloth or something, maybe? I mm -hmm. assume? Yep. Yeah. Got to work it into that weapon. Uh, would I have enough time? Well, actually, Marizio. <clears throat> yes? Since I don't really remember what you're capable of, can you cast spells, magic, and all that? <laughs> no. Never mind. <laughs> do I look oh. like I can do that? I don't know what you're capable of yet. Just like gesture to all my knives on me. Fair. Counting what are what is visible, you can count eight knives on her. Oh. There's a lot more than that. Uh that's just what's visible. Fair. Oh luck. Olaf. 
Do you cast spells? Busy. Like, do, 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 <laughs> you painting right now? <laughs> spinning in this room. What are you painting? Tales of my exports <laughs> and the serpents run. Your exports? Uh, your exports? <laughs> yeah. Exporting exploits good. or exports? <laughs> I think one of the two exports body parts from their <laughs> previous owners. <laughs> That's fair. Would you would you like a pearl of power? To do what? Cast more. Cast more what? Spells. Sure. What am I gonna do with it? It's like having an extra saved spell that you don't have to prepare for the day. You have to do it beforehand, but the next day it's already prepared for you. <sighs> Give it to one of the wishy-washy people. I already I did. Do. Technically, there is no limit to how many pearls of power a person can carry and use. Ooh. Each one is another... I mean, it's it's like how many containers of, can you have full of food. That's all yeah. they are, is containers. Just if I have enough time in the day, I could probably make you one. Maybe. I'm a simple man, I don't need whatever those things are. It's like you wouldn't mind tabbing. a pearl of healing. I think you would need that more. But if you, you don't want it... You more than I have. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm still here. <laughs> I'll... I'll start making you one. <laughs> <laughs> If I have time today, I will take the... It, it, you tell me if I have time today. If not, then I'm Sure, yeah. But... Yeah, I'd say okay. you have time to work on that. Then 500 but more gold. I that's think. assuming you guys aren't going tonight. If you're traveling out tonight, you would not have oh, time to do that yeah. and take an extended rest. Yeah, so are we heading out tonight? Or Faye, what time are you going to bed? Oh, yeah. I have to, I have to actually wear the tongue. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's what we're what here pain. for. I miss my old body. My body no sleep. <clears throat> hmm? So how long are we waiting for? Nine hours. Okay. Delayed. So if we're going tonight then, mm -hmm. don't have time. Um, Faya, you were making a potion by the way. Do you want to make that spellcraft check real quick? Yeah. Do I have to make a spellcraft to put a spell on the pearl? No. That, you just cast I the spell and use up as though you were casting it. Okay, 14. 14. I do not believe you succeed. What's that? You kind of ruin the potion. The spell I put in there. Oh. Um, so that's a dud. What you end up with, Faya, is kind of a, a syrupy, goopy mess. Like, it, you, you must have got the, the portions a little off this time. It happens does sometimes. It seem like some, does it seem like it would hurt somebody? No. It seems like it might turn into tar if you leave it set. Mm, hola. Do you want taste? <laughs> what is it? Uh, <laughs> tar. Yeah. Can I take a, whiff, a sniff of it? Yeah. It <laughs> smells... Uh, it smells like burnt... Something. <laughs> like burnt hair. <laughs> God. Did you make this? Uh, I try. Is he gonna kill me? <clears throat> no. No, no. Just... <laughs> well, what Probably. was I supposed to do? I just want to taste. See if it tastes good. I'm gonna try a taste. Just a sip? It was a sip. It, uh... It tastes like the smell of burnt rubber, if you can picture that. Like, picture that foul odor, and then imagine it was a flavor. Good or no? It tastes like a burnt pig sass, but without the pig. <laughs> <laughs> Also, you like in order to swallow, you kind of have to chew it a little. It doesn't go down oh. smooth. Oh. Hey, I was <laughs> writing my prescription. I'm gonna use my nail to like scrape the rest of it out and just put it on the floor as I walk away. Not in our room. 
<sighs> That's there now. Do, <laughs> uh, so do, does there. everybody like share a room or? No. Girls, girls and guys. Oh, girls and guys. That's <laughs> fun. <laughs> guys and dolls. Oh, yeah. So Marizio and Sione, if you guys were in the room, you guys watched me milk Dodgy. Oh. I'm used to that by now. Yeah, there's a glass what? jar and then like a little cloth over it, and I'm like holding it up at his fangs and just like letting the venom seep. I'm like sketching it in my journal. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I want to like take my my baby that's all wrapped up, you know, and then just like unwrap him, and then just give him a nice kiss on his bicep, and then just put him up on display in, uh, in my room. <laughs> You're not there. This girls only. There you go. Yeah, my statue. Okay. I thought you meant, like, baby. <laughs> I was like, what? No. That is a very well endowed uh, statue, Marzio. Isn't it? It's beautiful, isn't it? When you wake up in the board again, you look at it, you'll just feel very energized. The face is, like, the statue's making, like, the smolder, too. Oh. Like, tangled smolder? Mm-hmm. Mm. Look at that jaw. So Classic strong. smolder. <laughs> Okay. I'm just gonna like, admire it for a second. It's uh, it's about almost two feet. It's about a foot and a half tall. Uh, it's it's pretty uh, pretty wide. Like it's it's girthy. Girthy, yeah. And <laughs> it Wait, is. Wait, what's two feet tall? The statue. Part? The statue oh, okay, itself. The yeah. The whole thing. Okay. And it's in a very <laughs> seductive pose and in a very um suggestive state mm. of being. It'll so be a the, shame to sell him. The other part's like a foot tall, right? <laughs> I'll <laughs> leave that to your imagination. <laughs> like Jim Carrey doing his pelvic thrust, but with a giant <laughs> <laughs> But with a smolder on his face. <laughs> I don't like that. Such a weird, like... <laughs> that is not what I would have said, but... <laughs> Yes, and. <laughs> I think I might have to wait a while to sell it till the heat dies down. But the heat of that gaze will never die down. Uh, Maybe cover it before we leave. Oh. But. How will we enjoy it if it's covered? But if we gone, we not enjoy. Do you think the servants that come in might want to enjoy it? <laughs> they might tell on you. Hmm. All right, I see your point. That was the strangest bit of downtime I've ever seen. <laughs> I'm gonna talk to my sword. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah? We're talking to swords. You're gonna talk to your sword. What do you well, say? Well, just in the room. Yep. Telepathically. <laughs> what do you say? Oh. Or what? does it, do you not want to get into that? No, uh, no, I'll say it out loud. Huh? What do you want? I want what you want. What do you want? So many things. Power. What makes you happy? Can you be happy? What makes you... Do you have emotion? Do you? Yeah, yes. Then we understand one another. Do we? <laughs> Wealth makes me happy. Fame, glory, power. Do you want to be famous as a sword? I want what you want. So that's a yes. <clears throat> Were you always a sword? Yes. I think. That's fair. What do you think of Olak? I think his weakness is his arrogance. Agreed. He's going to get himself killed. All the easier to be rid of. No, we need him. For now. For now. We need everybody. That music is wildly inappropriate. <laughs> No, this is happy time for Salty. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> it's not menacing at all. Let's see what I can I'm do. almost done. You don't need to change it. <laughs> I'm almost done. We need all of them to stay alive. All of them. What about the, ones the that sick are with us one? Oh, huh. She's no use. She She's insults sick. you. Demeans you. Looks down upon you. She's been dealt with. She's sick. She's out of the picture for now. For now. I'm not concerned with her anymore. Until she becomes a problem again. Why wait? Or if she helps us. This it takes energy. Can do much more than she can. So far, I have to agree. Look forward to seeing what more she's capable of. Yes. How far she can get me. With the rest of them. And what she can do for us. Right. Do you prefer to be out of your scabbard, or...? I am a sword. Place me where you would place any sword. Good to know. Can you always hear me thinking, no matter if I'm... put you in the scabbard or not? Yes. That's amazing. That's... <laughs> okay. Uh, so you guys are taking some rest. I suppose so. Sorry. Yeah, I don't. I don't have time for crafting a thing then, because it takes a full day, right? Um, it the wouldn't pearl. take a full day per se, but it definitely would take a big chunk of it. Would I be like exhausted? Uh, you just or wouldn't be able to take. Or you wouldn't be able to rest and regain any spells or any of that. Any abilities or arcana, arcane pool points. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, now I'm not going to make it right now then. Okay. I do have a question mm -hmm. related to the pearl. Could I pay somebody else to put a spell in it? Yeah. It can only be level one or lower. Mm -hmm. I can make better ones, it just takes money. But anybody you else can make better ones. In. Anyone can put a spell into it. Yeah, mm -hmm. I can put a spell into it. Olaf can. Only way can. you can get the spell out of it, though, is by being able to cast that spell. If you can't it cast the spell, it's no good to you. Has to be on your list. No, oh, okay. That doesn't mean it has to be a spell that you know. It just has to be a spell that you are capable of knowing. Yeah. So like I could get a higher list. level sorcerer to. It would put still a higher level spell in there. Nope, no, because it's still level one or lower. I'm saying if it was a better pearl. Oh, sure. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. I can make any level. It just takes money. Gotcha. Okay. You can well, buy I, it, too. But... I'll just satisfy myself with screaming into my pearl so it goes in there. Oh, it's funny. <laughs> when you cast the ear-piercing scream, no sound comes out, but the, the pearl suddenly glows with an inner light for a moment, flashing ominously before going dark once more. I always scream into my pearl at night. <laughs> There's no sound when you... I mean... It's... Oh, I and I are just sitting in bed. We hear a... <laughs> no, it would be wholly inaudible in this case. <laughs> the scream never you really occurs. Anything from through Olok's snores? That's actually a very good point. Hmm. Telepathically, yes. Orc nasal passages aren't optimized for quiet sleep. Sleeping? Yeah. I've, I've grown used to it over the f few days. I've... I put something in my ears. <laughs> so, when do you guys want to head out? I guess we're going at night. Uh, whatever. So it was like what, ten or eleven when we saw Marizio? Uh, like by the time you got to her, it was about one o'clock. Okay, so like. Two or three, three o'clock. We went to bed then, or she? Yeah. You bed. got back to Hyde March Manor about three o'clock. Okay. Uh, so midnight then, right? Midnight. 
you guys want to set out? Well, I'm fine with going at night. I'm fine with that. This is not suspicious at all. Awesome. Let me move the tokens. Um, Lyrian informs you, by the way, that... uh, Yes. Actually, I'm sorry. Lyrian does not inform you. One of the Hyde March Manor staff informs you that she took a job for the princess of the Bazaar of Sales and that she's going to be gone for a brief time. She's not sure how long she'll be gone, but she'll be around. Send word when she gets back. We'll need her. Just do this. Moving tokens on these laggy maps is frustrating. Yeah, it's insane how like heavy these maps are. It's because they're so big. Compared to some of the Corrosin ones, oh my god, my computer's like, what the fuck? Uh, okay. So, it is night. Oh, we can redo spells, sorry. Oh yeah, I'll yeah, yeah. Get... Casters, re-prepare spells if you're changing what you have prepared. Yes. Okay, my Let's... spells are prepared. <laughs> Smartass. <laughs> um... You guys get into the rickety little boat that Sheila Hydemarch prepared for you. Newly outfitted, geared up, uh, dressed for your best dungeon delve. You sail out into the uh, the harbor. I can't remember what the name of the harbor is, or if it even has a name. Um, it's about a half a mile voyage out to the Crow. And uh, getting there. Do you guys... Is there anything in particular you wanted to stop and do, or do you want to move forward all the way down to the catacomb? Uh, what does the Eye of the Hawk do? Sorry. Never mind. Uh, there is a... I had a note in my thing. Never mind. Don't worry about it. Got it? We're good. Technically, there were two monuments you guys made a note that you wanted to visit, and you never did. That's fine. Yeah, but it's, it's time, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. And, in low and that's really, in low cleft. Yeah, I don't want to dick around at night in low cleft, so. Also, there were tons of guards there now. Technically, low cleft is actually where the best nightlife in the city is. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Ooh. Oh. Yeah, go sometime. They have a lot of uh, night taverns, specifically that are only open during the night. That's um, awesome. They're, that's when the Calistrian Church is most active, and you know what that means. There's a lot of brothels in Low Cleft, a Orgy. lot of casinos, a lot of, um, a lot of fun and luxury locations. Okay, okay. We'll have to head back one day, perhaps after we finish up this mission, and when you know the heat dies down. So. Did you want to stop at all in the crow, or did you want to no. kind of go straight through no, it? I, didn't, didn't. I put the arcane mark outside where the boat can go on the outside, so we don't have to like climb all the way down. Oh so yeah, I wanted to go there. Um, that was on the first floor, I believe. I put one up, up, and I put one below as well. When we mm -hmm. there was that like big like pond, not pond, but like. By the Container amoebas. Water. Yes. Yes. It's on the uh, level above where the sand hills. That works work. fine. I can I can work with that. I just got to get all your tokens over there. Uh, did the stream day? Did it? My... It's on for mine. Oh. It's on for mine. looking good for me. Really weird, cause my channel like stopped hosting you. Why? <laughs> Why is your I... channel an asshole? Well, I was, like, closing stuff out, and, like, right as I went to it, it, like, it's, like, hosting someone else. I'm like, the die. Okay, let me just drag Mariziel out here. And I don't see Dodgy, but I assume, Ava, you, you can gonna, find that. You ain't gonna drag me. So, you guys sail around to the north side of the crow. And... It looks perfectly smooth until you sail right up to where Celtiel's uh, arcane mark is. And you 
can't really fit the boat through there, but you have to hop out of the boat through the wall, which is illusory. And you come out in this uh, balconied chamber. Don't mind me, I'm just looking for Dodgy. <laughs> uh, you should be able to see from Dodgy. He's not on this map then. Okay, then I will put him on here. Just a reminder, so that you guys don't He's... get too excited and get go crazy. On top of him. Absolutely oh. no movement. <laughs> Absolutely no movement without narrating first what you are doing. Well, I was going to go back to where I was. I was just That's looking fine. for my fox. <laughs> just going forward, just letting you guys know. I was just so getting blurry. dragon off of Dodgy. It's it's a, it's a, it's a, it is loading? It's a, it's a huge map. map. Yep. Oh, oh, mine's here just fine. Yeah. yeah, if you look on the uh, the stream, you can see what it's supposed to look like. Um, Can I send Dodgy upstairs into that one place that Olak was too small to go in? Or did they already cover that? I don't know where on earth you're talking about. Uh, put Dodgy. Like, oh, you here. mean up onto the balcony. So yes. for Jesse's benefit, for Marizial's benefit, uh, you find yourselves near a green scum-covered pool that you would have now swam through, so you've got a little bit of scum on you. Uh, passages exit to the east and west, and curving stairs rise to a balcony over the southern end of the room. The floor and walls are streaked with dark smears of guano in thick layers. Uh, yeah, that is not going in there. And Dodgy steps... No, that's the room you guys are already in. Oh, okay. Never mind. Dodgy uh, pads up the curving stairs to the balcony and peers through a little crevice in the wall that kind of winds into the darkness. He's just going to see where it goes. Very, What's everyone very else slowly. doing? Very slowly. We're waiting for the little rodent master to come back. I can't move my icon, but I'm going to begin heading towards the downward stairs. Not down them, but just heading towards them and waiting. Okay. Um, You can't actually see through Dodgy's eyes, Feya, so technically mm -hmm. you wouldn't know what he finds. I was... Yeah, but he can tell me. No, he can't. He doesn't have <laughs> yes, telepathy. Can. I can get a danger sense from him, though. I can feel what he feels. Yes, you do get a danger sense. That would be... About... You'd only get, like, any emotional yeah. burst from him. So, what's he feeling? So, he winds his way through the tunnel, disappearing from sight. And after maybe 30 seconds you get uh, feelings of alarm startlement oh he's running back then like full spread okay I was gonna say I could probably scout ahead if you wanted oh yeah that's uh... Faye was looking for a head. You should try to find one for her. Uh, a head. Yeah. Head. I need, <laughs> oh I need puppet. It. My manette no work as good as like a bone manette. Make sense? Okay. Right. Yeah. I mean, I could scout in front of the party. <laughs> you know. Not for a bone. <laughs> Not like, not like a, a, not like find a head. Oh. You know, you know what I mean, right? Uh, yeah. But if I see one laying around, I, I'll definitely grab it for you. Yeah, it makes sense. Although I have concerns. <laughs> I'll put my hand on her shoulder. That's okay. That's okay. Okay. So what are you, <laughs> where are you guys going to go? Was there, were we able to like sprawl more down like the mite thing or did you guys already do that when I was gone? Like where you guys met with the king mite. Oh, no, we didn't go much further than that. 
Okay, so we, we go down? We dealt with that, then went back and left. Oh, okay. So we go down deeper? <clears throat> Where I believe we need to go to next. Okay. okay. I am going to cast Detect Fiendish Presence. <laughs> um... Okay, go ahead and send that to the chat so I can take a look at what it entails. Um, okay. You do not detect any fiendish presences. Though I like that the spell specifies that it includes... Oh, I, I didn't read the part, first part of that mm -hmm. sentence. I just saw that it included Asmodeus. I was going to say, well, that's mm -hmm. good, but... No, paladins good and clerics it. of him. <laughs> Good to know if he's l lurking around. Right. right. <laughs> In that case, Just you case. detect a fiendish <laughs> presence about Celtiel's sword. <laughs> no, you don't. I'm gonna touch <laughs> No, you don't. <laughs> I'm just gonna walk up and, doing? like, kind of poke it. I'm like... Hmm. Okay. Do you want something? Still deal, you get the sense that she knows. Something's up. <laughs> and that's about it, because she walks away. Telepathically, do we kill her now? <laughs> <laughs> I will not watch kidding, her. Do you not, did you not like that? I do not care for secrets. So you'd rather know, have them know? I would rather know what she is thinking. Uh, I'm going to continue going down the stairs looking for fiends and stuff, I guess. Okay. So if you guys are moving, uh, the stairs are to the west. You have to pass through kind of an open, empty chamber. There is a section of wall that has been pulled open, revealing a secret door that leads south, which they seem to be just kind of moving past and descending down these long, curving steps down into the catacombs. I found a secret door. Oh, uh, actually, we've already been down there. Oh. <laughs> right? We, we were down there, right, DM? Yeah, yep, that's okay, where the sure water spiders talking. were. <laughs> Just making sure I'm thinking the right one. Wait till you see the other secret doors we found down These there. stairs <laughs> lead down into a wide catacomb with rows of burial niches cut into stone ah. into the stone walls. These have all been stripped bare of any former occupants. Um, half a dozen ten-foot-high mounds of dirt and debris dominate the floor of the chamber, reaching nearly to the ceiling, which is 15 feet above. In the southern wall... Actually, I feel like they would have probably closed the secret door back up. The secret yeah. door... <laughs> In quotes. Are the corpses of the, like, the ants still here? Uh, no. Actually, what the... F my, my camera's moving all over the place on its own, and I'm not doing that. Why? Spooky. Roll 20 is kind of like having... So a senior moment. Give it a minute to load. It'll uh, like if you look at if you look at the stream, you should see what it is meant to look like. <sighs> there are still scorch marks on the southernmost mound, um, and there's dried blood spatter here and there on the floor. Oh, hey, that's my blood. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, I'll be casting light uh, with my sword out. So, okay. Not my sword. Well, let me uh, light you up then. I, I already have you lit up. Is that all? Uh, a fiend so, sword uh, with light. Thea should not, not be character. lit up. How? I am also going to cast light on my staff. It's not holy light. I was going to say, actually, um, that's extremely common for magic swords. I was just joking. Okay. The the likely <laughs> the likely takeaway 
<laughs> from Faya's experienced background would be that Celtio got his hands on a magic weapon. Mm -hmm. Probably plus one of some kind. Um, that would probably be the assumption. Maybe some kind of fiendish, like a inf like an unholy plus one weapon or something. That would probably be the most common explanation of what he's holding. You don't see any like changes in how I'm acting with the sword, though. Like it's still just. Besides looking at it, like oh, it's so cool. And every now and again, maybe looking at it inquisitively, like listening to it. Mm -hmm. This makes me yeah. all the more curious to want to touch it. <laughs> so what would you guys like He's been to... like talking out loud to it, right? No. It's been like in his head? Oh, okay, I was just wondering. <laughs> yep, so my mouth is just like... Just facial reactions. <laughs> sometimes. Not all the time, but like sometimes. You'll see him make some facial... Anyway. That's strange. <clears throat> well, from here we went through that door that's attempted to be hidden, correct? Uh, looking at the wall over here, from that distance, uh, if you move closer to it, it's more obvious. From the position, like, near the stairs, it could pass as the wall in the shadows and darkness. So I'd say we head down there, yeah? Or that way, I believe that door was there somewhere. I thought they just went to that weird alcove with that uh, might that I tried to make friends with. Uh, I thought there was another door, was it not? I mean, we need to head somewhere. I don't think there's any other doors. There's that way as well. It's a little bit well, more open. We still need to find the other thing that matches this. I hold up the uh, the bracer. <clears throat> oh yeah, right. Well, we didn't all go that way, which is, I mean, that way. Mm -hmm. uh, over I was just looking the, over there. To the east. If we're thinking northwest, south, whatever. I'm, I'm gonna go to the entrance at the east, just because I have the detection up. I'm mm -hmm. gonna see if anything's yep. down that way. Start walking that okay. way with everybody. I will head that way, that way. I'm moving gonna up. peek. Okay, moving over there and peeking. You can see a long, ten-foot-wide corridor. Uh, mm -hmm. Fairly unremarkable. There's no major decorations or anything like that. Um, though thick sheets of spiderweb hang from the walls. Mm. And the ceiling. Mm. No spiders? None visible. Mm. This is the way Lyrian went <clears throat> by herself. Oh. Mm. Or with... Uh... What's you have. Uh, yeah. Did you already forget her? You yeah. have Firebolt? Who are you speaking to? Either. I don't know. Like Flame? Ugh, whatever. Not I'll... to, not to well, waste I'm, I'm just gonna start walking down there. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna continue. If Lyria could go down here by herself with Natalia, I think we'll be fine. And Olak, with your dark vision. You can make out at the far end of this corridor an open room and a set of stairs going down at the far end of the room. I'll follow. Uh, Daji will stay on Olaf, by the way. Rizil, make sure to keep up. Stomp. The place is dangerous Stomp. down here. Stomp. And he'll try not to be stomped on. Um, oh. As you come into the open chamber, Olaf, you can see that... Uh, like the hallways, this chamber has strands of spider web hanging from the walls and ceiling. Uh, there's also a lot of filth and rubble and garbage scattered about on the floor. Um, in places, the rubble and garbage have been heaped up into mounds and shapes that look almost like undersized furniture. Uh, beds and tables and chairs sized for very tiny humanoids. That's down here. Can I make sure there's no spider up on the ceiling? Oh, gonna jump on me? actually, never mind that. Never mind that. I just noticed I was reading the wrong number. Okay. Uh, no, spider webs, it? yes. Small trash furniture, no. Is there any spiders up there? Make a perception check. 
I will make a perch. Can I roll a? Hmm. Eight. Eight. You do not notice anything. And by the way, the secret door here is also closed, so it may not be initially obvious. Though, Marizial, yes. as you are walking adjacent to it, go ahead and make a perception check. Uh, okay. Twenty-one? Twenty-one. Uh, plus four to notice concealed objects, including tr secret doors. So that'd be a twenty-five, actually. Oh, so I gotta add that in when I... Unfortunately, okay. yeah, because it's just never gonna know, you know. Um, you notice that the wall immediately to your right, since you're walking south, so to the left looking at the map, is not stone. It is, in fact, wood that is painted in mostly green and blue paint, trying to emulate stone, and just hanging from two ropes from the ceiling uh, in an attempt to pass as a secret door. You probably could have noticed this I, on a natural one. I think you still would have noticed. Oh God! Wow. What amateurs? Can I try to open it? Sure. You can literally just push, and it'll just swing open, and you can see a tiny little passage. Oh, <coughs> that's cute. What is? Just swing the door open. This oh, is Can I go uh, check it out? Literally, Natalia came from the other time. Oh. Yeah. Well. It's apparently a tight passageway, but it's another way to get through. Mm. I wouldn't fit in there. Oh, whoops, I didn't want to go. <laughs> well, I guess Brazil. <laughs> <laughs> What? I mean, I guess I could go in and check it out just to see if there's anything in there, but if you said your friends have already been through, then... We did already go that way last time. Really there was a big spider. Yeah. Oh! Okay. <clears throat> well. Should we keep going south, then? After me! As far as I know, we should... Uh, you sure? I could... Okay. Well, do you want to go first? Well, yeah, I mean... Pretty good at this. I'll make sure I have my sword out. <laughs> okay. I just... Did I say anything bad, duck? Let me get out the initiative tracker. I just remembered <laughs> that I might need that. Oh, fuck. Uh -oh. <laughs> Never mind, I'm not good at it. <laughs> no, I'm sure it's wait, fine. Wait, I'm sure we're it's not fine. going that way. We're not going that way. <laughs> <laughs> what is Faya doing right now? Okay. Watching you guys. Mm. Same thing as always. So, the stairs ahead descend into <clears throat> a chamber with thick sheets of spiderweb hanging from the walls and ceiling of the otherwise filthy, rubble, and trash-strewn room. Okay. You can't really see much else from the top of the steps. I will draw my dagger. Which one? One of them. <laughs> okay. Uh, you know. <laughs> Just one? All of them. Just one for now. Okay. Just kind of a sh out of the sheath. Okay. So everybody hold still for a second. As Marizial <laughs> moves down into the chamber, you can see more properly. Ah! Um, oh. Ooh. You can see... In places, the rubble and garbage have been heaped up, surprisingly, I'm sure, into mounds and shapes that almost look like undersized furniture. Beds and tables and chairs, sized for little people. And as you descend these steps, Marizial, for a moment, there's sort of a hubbub of all these tiny, two-foot-tall blue people with bat ears uh, look to have been going about business. Uh, one of them had a little skillet in the back and was cooking what looks like a dead rat. Um... Mm. Two of them were waving uh, sticks with rats dangling from the end of them in front of these two giant spiders, uh, wolf spiders by the look of it. Um, others were laying on little garbage divans and sofas. Everything kind of stops as they all look at you. 
And the one closest says, ah, Not again! And everyone <laughs> roll initiative. Hey, little guys! Full lock. It's your time to shine, buddy. Oh, are they speaking undercommon? Yes, that was in undercommon. Sorry. So, Mariziel, you probably didn't understand what the words were. I gotta stop using the the uh, uh, interactive oh, dice. Hey. It goes to 20 and then it dips over to the <laughs> low. It makes it that much more painful to see. <laughs> Every oh. time. Silly help. What? It's in the wall. <laughs> Again, Why really? Is in the wall? How, How did you, you notice? <laughs> How, how do you do that? It's not me, it's Dragon. Oh. Oh, I'm fine. Stop moving! It's not me, it's Dragon. Yeah, you're moving Dragon! Quit moving <laughs> Dragon! Get him Dra out of there! <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> My he's god. Panicking. He doesn't like it close spaces. Yeah, he's panicking, I'm sure. <laughs> Looks like he's dragging it around. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to ask each of you for your initiative, and we will go down the list. 33. Uh, Olak? First roll for Dodgy. I rolled a three. A total of three. Dragon? Dragon got an 18. Celtiel? Eight. Dodgy? Can I keep the first roll for Dodgy? I used my character sheet, but we have the same uh, bonus. The first roll that was intentionally dodgies, please. I don't know which one that was. I wasn't. <laughs> it was. I just clicked my character sheet instead. Uh, the one with dodgy's name is 10. Okay. Mariziel? Oh, that's me. 18. <laughs> uh, and your <laughs> dex is probably higher than dragon, so I'm going to give you 18.5. Sioni? Uh, yeah? I don't know. I got a, a 4. And Faya? <laughs> 14. And mites were 12, and giant spiders are also 12. That's convenient. Okay. So, Maurizio, what you see is all of these mites, like, jumping off the furniture, shrieking in some language you don't really speak. You don't know what they're saying. Um... Some of them look like they're running for the spiders. They look to be in a full panic. What do you do? Do they look like they're going to come at me? Make a sense motive. <clears throat> um, okay. Um, sense motive. Two. <laughs> I mean, they're just so cute. <laughs> they are. <laughs> Here, if you want to see what they uh, like what they Dobby. look like, I do. Did that, did that work? No. No. Oh, what do you mean no? Oh, I don't see anything. Pop, pop, oh, pop. it's it's because I had already revealed it to him. Okay. Now it should work. Oh. <laughs> well, look at you. Now, if I backed up a little bit, would that that wouldn't like provoke or anything, would it? Um. Sorry, you're going to have to help me with combat no, a bit. No, it would only provoke if you were adjacent to them. Okay. Which you were not. I will move, like, right about here and, like, onto the foot of the steps, and I'll, I guess I'll throw a dagger at one of them. Okay. I don't know. So what do I do to throw a dagger? Uh, so you're going to click on dagger, the one that hopefully one of them has a range set to it. Did Under weapons and attacks. Mm -hmm. It just says dual dagger and then dual wielding. Well, you only have one drawn, I believe. Right. So oh, you don't even need that gear tab open. Yep, you can just click dagger. Okay. Hiya. Yeah. Twenty-three. Quit opening it. Uh, Sorry, I was trying to close it. Because they have not acted yet, they are also flat-footed. So 23 hits and does sneak attack. Wait, you're attacking them? Mean. <laughs> yes, Also, I guess. because the range increment is 10 feet and it is 15 feet away, you would have a minus 2 to hit. But because it is within 30 feet, you have plus 1 to hit from point blank shot. <laughs> so basically, it comes to a 22 to hit. Okay. Versus his um, flat-footed, you totally hit. 
I didn't click the sneak attack wherever that is. That is also listed as a weapon. Oh, okay. So I just hit that again? Or, mm -hmm. or just click it? Plus Eight? This is a classy establishment, so you can just... Uh, yeah. So you do a total of 13 points of damage when you throw that dagger. I'm like, ah! Isn't it 14? Four, yes, point blank shot. I'm sorry. Thank you. You do 14 points of damage. Attack and damage versus target. Team. Oh. So you throw that dagger. It goes right into this fat little guy's head in mid shriek, and he just, like a wooden board, falls forward onto the ground and doesn't move. <laughs> just lying face down on the floor. <laughs> and now, like. Don't sneak up on me like that. <laughs> all of them. Like, you made me dagger. All, uh. <laughs> All eight of the remaining mites begin screaming in shrill, terrified little voices. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. They not understand you. And that would be the Tell end of your I'm turn sorry. because you have moved. You've taken your move action, your standard action. Um. Okay. Oh wait, I can't move again. <laughs> Correct. You cannot interrupt movement. You can move and then attack, or attack and then move. Ah. Yeah. Okay. So you kind of backed way to the stairs in startlement and saw cute mites, but kind of panicked through the dagger. <laughs> Dragon. That's what you guys brought me down here for, right? Yep. Dragon is still on my shoulder. Okay. Should I not address Dragon for this combat? Correct. Okay. Faya. <sighs> you can hear the sounds of many shrill helium voices screaming in terror down those stairs. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! I'm just gonna go down the stairs. <laughs> I ah! made a mistake. <laughs> yeah, and you see Marizia looking genuinely distraught, like maybe putting a hand to her mouth, kind of looking at all these <laughs> tiny little guys running around like chickens with their heads cut off. <laughs> Do I have to make an acrobatic thing to go all the way down? No. Uh, though it would be your standard action. You'd have to double move to get down there. That, that's fine. So you move down here and just kind of take it all in. I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm just gonna go a little further. Oh, that's a wall. Never mind. Uh, and then under common Blake... Hey, little guys. I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> um, make, hey. make a diplomacy check for me. Yeah, can you tell them I'm really sorry? <laughs> She's new. I'll say an undercover. <laughs> new hire. You know, training. <laughs> I'm training. not good at diplomacy, so you guys... This should be great. Mm. That's a one. <laughs> they're they're high-pitched... Uh -huh. Screaming gets even higher pitch and more shrill when you're like, hey, it's me again. Um, <laughs> the bone lady. No. The bone lady. They, they've gone like from uh, fear to stark terror now. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> and you guys don't speak undercommon. It's not even my like, turn what yet. What the fuck did she I just know. say? It is Might's turns. So this Might is going to scamper up on top of this spider. As is this one to this one. Oh, God. Um, while these other mites are going to move to cover and, like, try to hide behind the walls, the pillars. Oh. Um... Look yeah. what you're doing to these poor people. I'm so sorry. Jesus. All of them kind of <laughs> cower. And these two mites on the spiders. Uh, you notice these spiders have sort of ghetto rigged saddles. And these two mites grab the reins and. Psh, and the little. I'm sorry. The very large giant spiders begin scurrying forward. Uh. I can't actually charge, and I can't get it to... There we go. They are charging right over their fallen comrade. 
Uh, the mites continue screaming the entire way while the spiders... Oh, let's see. The spiders are going to attempt to attack each of you. So, against Marizial, that is an 18 to hit. You are not flat-footed, so it's just against your AC. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, that is going to be six points of damage. And I need you to make a fortitude save. Fortitude save? Which one is fortitude? F-O-R-T. Oh, I see it. 21. 21. Okay. So that's it. It just damages you as this spider charges up and bites you. The mite, like, cowering on its back. Um, the other spider attacks Faya. And that's a natural oh. 20, but only that's a 15 to confirm. Does 15 hit your armor class? 15. What do you think? I think it hits your your armor class. It does. Okay, that is a critical hit. So, Faya, this spider, like, grabs you by the arm and starts dragging you away from the wall and, uh, like, almost gets you up to the shoulder in its mouth. You take 14 points of damage. Are you still conscious? Jean. How are you? Yes, I'm fine. Please make a fortitude save. Everything is fine. <laughs> This is fine. Oh. <gasps> natural one. What the heck? What the hell, girl? That's not a natural that one. That is not cool. Is. Just about the body rolled two net ones. Okay. Well, <laughs> this is fine. Um, <laughs> this is fine. You just take a little strength damage. Oh, no. As oh. your body starts to seize up, you take one point of strength damage. Oh, look. And you know to put that just minus one in the temp on your yeah. character sheet. Okay. Dude. It's okay. That's fine. That'll heal in one day. So you feel your body beginning to lock up, and these two mites riding on their backs continue just looking at you and screaming in terror, though their eyes kind of begin to bulge. And they're going to try to cast Doom on each of you. Oh. Doom? Doom. What's that? Um, let's find out. Okay. I have an inkling. I do too. <laughs> Doom. I need each of you to make a will save. Oh, fuck. Oh, I'm not good you at need that. All of us? No, just those two. Oh, okay. Well, don't say all of you. I said each of you. Oh, right. Hey, well, don't say that either. That still applies. Is that a whiz? Where do 16? I do that? It's just to the right of Fort. There's Fort, Reflex, and Will. Oh, okay. So, Faya, you make your save. Mariziel, you barely make your save. Okay. But their, their eyes just begin to bulge as they look at you and try to fill you with a horrible feeling of dread to share in their screaming terror. Like, I want you to picture the camera just zooming in at different angles on their their bulging, yellow-eyed face. Ugh. Doom! 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 <laughs> doom. I'm imagining Boomy's bulgy eyes. I am too. <laughs> just with a more yellow tint. Uh, but you are unaffected. So that's it for the giant spiders and the mites. Dodgy is actually up. Can he make it? He's, yeah, he can make it. He moves fast. Though something be to be aware of is that if Dodgy... Oh, wait, Dodgy's tiny. Dodgy can share a space with somebody. Yeah, I just have to move myself so I can reposition Dodgy. That's all. And then alt... Right there, yes. Can he bite? Yes, he can bite. He can certainly try. Uh, this is presumably the spider he's trying to bite? Yep. Nine will not hit the spider. He tries. He comes close. But it just kind of skitters around with Dodgy just snapping at its leg while it moves across the floor. Oh, I'm gonna eat that spider. That's weird. Celtia. Celtia? 
Oh, I didn't, sorry, I didn't hear you. Um, so you can't right. see too much. You can hear a lot of screaming in the room below, and you can see two <laughs> bat-eared mites riding on two giant human-sized wolf spiders. Yeah, yeah. Swift action, arcane pool to make my sword a uh, plus one or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, I'll move down. This is ten feet each? No, not going down. Oh, so five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Keep in mind, though, that if you move while within... Uh, there you will provoke from both mites and both spiders to get. There. Oh, if I go past Faya's, mm -hmm. or past unless you want to make an acrobatics is. check to tumble. Uh, is that cost me anything, or do I just do with that? Um, like, I believe like each square action. would be an additional five feet of movement, and oh, if you fail, right. you still provoke from all of them. 20, 25. No, I guess I'll stay. Right in Dodgy Square. Okay, then you don't provoke from anyone. Okay. Um. Uh, you guys got fucked up quick. Yeah. <laughs> 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 your mouth. You uh, be just fucked up. I'm gonna go ahead and cast Touch of Combustion using. Oh. Uh, using my spell strike and spell combat. Okay. And uh -huh. who's the target? I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be attacking the spider. Okay. Spider. Uh, so I'll put that in the chat just for the time being. Touch of combustion. So we'll do that first. And you said you're using spell strike. Yes. So, so this is being delivered through my... your sword. So if I don't hit, then it doesn't go off. But uh, black. Uh, let's see. All right, attacking with my sword. Mm-hmm. 26. <laughs> 26 is definitely going to hit that spider <laughs> for 11 points of slashing damage and 3 points of fire damage. It can save. Oh, I'll just do the 11 damage then. And that is, I suppose, a reflex save. save. Yep. If it fails, it catches on fire. Oh, The spider yeah. fails and takes another 3 points of fire damage and is suddenly on fire as... You slash your sword through it. Oh, did you include the plus one damage from it being a plus one weapon? I think that was already in the thing that the card that you gave me, is it not? Shouldn't be. I'll look. I'll look. Damage. Oh, be yeah, yeah, it is. Because plus it's, it's a plus one that. weapon by default. It's already plus yeah. one. Yeah, you already... I can do it more. I just need to spend the arcane pool on it. Well, so what, what did you spend that one point on? I have my arcane pool to upgrade the att the attack roll. Not the attack damage. It being a plus one weapon upgrades both. Right, and I used my arcane pool to do it again. So that doesn't... I don't think that upgrades the accuracy. I think that turns it to a plus one, so you could turn it to a yeah. plus two weapon. I think if, that's what it's doing. Let me look at the buff and just give me one second. Uh, just send it to the chat. Let me take a quick look arcane at it. Arcane pool plus two to attacks, because I'm level two and I used a point in doing it. Oh, let All me right. do this real quick. Yeah, send that to the chat. Let me take a look at that. Yep, 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 yep. So this is the second paragraph. Plus one enhancement spin bonus for one minute. And plus one for... Oh wait, I don't know if it's level. I don't know if it's plus uh, two. I might need to change that. You can add a plus one but... enhancement to it. Yeah, so I think I need to change to the It's already got a plus one enhancement bonus, so... So it becomes a plus two weapon. Yep, I need to change the plus two on Are you allowed to two. put it to, like, oh, nope, you can't make it flaming or whatever? No, okay. that's later. That's later. Okay, so it's a plus two weapon, so you do an additional point of damage, which actually kills the spider. So when you swing this uh, glowing sword, it cleaves right through the spider. Uh, the spider bursts into flames, shrieking and stamping about and then collapsing and rolling over with the screaming might falling right off. I'm going to have that might make a reflex saving throw, or he's going to get squished by the spider. We'll say DC 10. Okay, that might is going to take 1d6 damage. Could you go ahead and roll that for me? 
1d6, sorry, what? Just 1d6. Okay. Four. The mite is also dead. <laughs> oh. So the, the, uh. the spider just tips over and rolls, and the screaming mite right. gets caught under it and psh, smash. Well, since Jasmine isn't here, oh how the mighty has fallen. <laughs> I have a second attack, so I can't really you move. You can't move any. more. <laughs> yep. Uh, okay. <laughs> So, so that does happened. that mean I have a bonus action then? Because I didn't nope. use there's no such that? thing. You used your swift action or to action. light up okay. your sword, so that you'd be done. Okay. Uh Celtio kinda looks at his sword probably a little surprised that, that just huh. fucking cut through. Uh Sayoni. You can hear screams. You saw the spider and rider attack Mariziel. You saw Celtiel charge down the steps and cut right through the spider. You saw it tip over and crush the mite underneath. Okay. So if I were to attack, I can see this mite? From the top of I this, mean, you'd have to move down the stairs a bit before you could see I, that's it. That's what I was asking. Okay, so I do need to move down a bit. Okay, so like here? Is that enough? Sure. <laughs> well, so why don't you not move both Sayoni and Dragon at the same time? Why don't you move them as two separate... He's on my shoulder. He's okay. also stuck on the wall. I know. Again. That's how he gets stuck <laughs> on the wall. So move them as two separate tokens. That, that'll that okay. avoid future... Oops. Okay, so can I see this one? Uh, from there, I would say yes, though it has some cover. Wouldn't they both have cover since that other one is kind of in combat or no that would be soft cover so it would actually have both soft cover and cover giving him a big bonus to ac this guy would have that so this mm -hmm. guy would just have soft mm -hmm. okay well i will attack that one then spider or mite the mite oh what fine he's higher up yeah easier for me to hit um i'll melt his face off with an acid splash. Okay, and this is against his touch. Yep. 11 will not hit his touch AC. Okay. Um, he dexterously kind of ducks low and your acid goes right over. And hits the other one? No, it splashes oh. on that column behind him and begins to sizzle. Okay. Well, I guess that's it for me then. Okay. Olak. Oh. Do I have room to go down the stairs? Nope. Technically, oh no, you can't charge through an ally's space. Nope. <clears throat> Sorry, all right. please don't run me over. Well, can't move at all through an ally's square? No, you can, you just can't charge through an ally space. Oh, okay. Charging is a special action. Gotcha. Hey, you tiny creatures, do you want to be my friend? <laughs> I wish I could just use my reaction to translate That will be a dazzling display <laughs> with my sword pointing at him. That's the one on the spider? That's both of them if the spider, bo spider is scarable. Uh, this is a single... Dazzling. Oh, dazzling display. <laughs> All foes within 30 feet. Uh, that might get the other one, too. Nope. Nope. Oh, okay. Never mind. So they need to make will saves, or what? It's That's... just... Oh, 10 versus their hit... <laughs> versus... Plus wisdom. Uh, yeah. Okay. They are both intimidated. Shaken. Shaken. Not stirred. No. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I will mark both of them with a blue so we this know that they're shaken. One round, but that's my turn. That means minus two on all d20 rolls. Okay. So the uh, might continue shrieking in terror. Uh, Mariziel, what would you like to do? Well, my turn already. Mm -hmm. So uh... at present, you have no weapons drawn. Because okay. you threw your dagger. Right. 
Does it does it cost something to, to draw a weapon or something? You can draw them as a move action or as part of a move action. Your choice. Okay. Um, can I draw two things? Or I believe you need quick draw to draw two as part. Okay. Otherwise, it would be your full turn to draw two. All right. Um, I guess could I move like right here? Would I be able to do that? Um. So you're actually not allowed to cut corners because there's that wall corner there. You can't move directly there. So you'd have to go like this, which would provoke mm -hmm. from both the spider and the mite. Oh, I don't want to do that. But you okay. could just go here if you want. But I'm also not um, adjacent to him. Would I provoke if I moved back? No. Another okay. option, by the way, you can roll an acrobatics check to tumble Movement is okay. at half speed, but you do not provoke, assuming you roll high enough. So then you could do this without provoking. It would be very acrobatic. Okay. What, would I know the DC to do that? The DC or? would be his CMD. Or it would just be against the CMD of both the spider and the mite. Which, it's up to you to judge if they look like they'd be particularly uh, well defended or not. Okay, gotcha. Um, well, instead of that, then I'm going to move back one square, I think, and I'm going to draw another dagger okay. as I do that. Can I? Well, I can't draw two daggers. Right, Dang. you could only draw one. Okay, and I'll try to throw it at him again, I okay. suppose. Okay, might or spider? Spider. So something to be aware of, because they are not flat-footed, you would not get sneak attack on this. Is that all right? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. And you said spider? Spider. Okay. Roll that dagger. Uh, 14? 14. Well, it'd be 15 because you're within 30 feet. 15. Which hits. Cool. Four, so five, four, six. Five damage? Because, again, plus six one. Plus one attack versus target. Okay, so. So six, six. damage. Your dagger right into the spider, uh, blinding one of its eyes. And it's just mm. stuck in its head. The spider's still alive, though, and now it's angry. Uh oh. And that's Mauriziel. Faya. <sighs> Too soon for spells. I'm gonna cast Daze on the Might on top of the spider. That would provoke unless you cast defensively. Do you want to cast defensively? I could take a five foot step, can't I? Uh, yes, you can. I'll do that instead. Where to? I can move here without provoking? Yep. Okay. Now I'm going to cast Daze. So you, and to clarify for Jesse, uh, because she's not moving this turn, mm -hmm. she's allowed a free five foot step, which does not provoke. Um, okay. Daze cool. against the might. I need to find out if it is a humanoid. The might is not a humanoid. It is shaped like a humanoid. You'd think it would be, but it is, in fact, not. So Daze does not affect it. Uh, next are the Mites. I'm just going to say curious and undercommon. This Mite is going to shriek louder and cast Prestidigitation to put out Seltiel's light. <gasps> <gasps> The fire is still burning his friend. Yes. <laughs> um, Meh. He's just being an annoying little git right now, honestly. Mm -hmm. And then he's going to jerk the reins to the side. And he and the spider are going to ride off shrieking. Like, And they go right up onto the wall and just ride sideways on the wall down that little passage. He's going to tell his friends. Um, this mite is going to run screaming over here. Uh, they're going to double move over there. This little mite is going to run screaming down the tunnel. Oops. This little mite is going to run screaming. We, 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 Stop me when you notice way. a pattern. <laughs> uh, 
and these three mites are gonna run screaming. Where are you going? I said I was sorry. <laughs> come on, come on. Alright, whatever. I'm just gonna. That's good enough. Is that all the mites? Oh my god, thank god. It is all of them. And the spider. Uh, Dodgy. <sighs> Dodgy's gonna press forward. There we go. Can't go any further. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, Dodgy just kind of trots into this room, navigating around some of the little garbage furniture, kind of glancing sidelong at the horde of mites who are running, screaming down the hall. Uh, Celtiel. Where's an alchemist fire when you have it? <laughs> I... I'm gonna walk. Can I walk adjacently on top of the might and giant spider? Yeah, yeah, you can move over. Well, no, they're on fire, no, as you pay, informed yep. me. Yep, so five. Ten. Let's get a better look here. Um. Oh, that's right, I don't have my light on. Yep. <laughs> you have those those little asshole mites. Those <laughs> tricky little bastards. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. Um, I think you still have given me light. No, I gave the spider light since it's burning. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, just huddling. Oh. No, they're running for it. Oh. They're all. They just have little tiny feet, so they are not very fast. <laughs> Twenty. Technically. Huh? You can charge if you want. Not sure if that's a thing you No, do. I am going to try to make them stay and not kill them <laughs> simultaneously. <laughs> I want to try to intimidate them to stop. I don't think that's how intimidate works. Uh is there any way that I could try to make them stop from fleeing? What do you... Well, you tell me. Uh, uh, At this point, you're pretty sure they don't speak common. Offer That's them true. food. I can't. No, they're fearful Everyone understands right food. now. Yeah, they're fearful right now. They're looking for comfort, <laughs> not food. Food um, is comfort. What food is pretty about? comforting. That's a study done. People seek comfort over food. In fearful situations. Celtiel's been reading self-help self books. Mm-hmm. Show them comfort, Celtiel. <laughs> Give them a hug. I'll run at them like this. <laughs> Come here! <laughs> <laughs> In a language that they don't speak. <laughs> Let <laughs> me love you. Um, how much... Knowing, knowing a little bit about them, how much do I know that they weigh? Like 50 pounds, what you said? Uh, 40, these guys are heavy little shits. Okay. Um, I think we figured out they weigh 60 pounds. Seeing as they're okay. two feet tall, they are... They are heavy. So I moved 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Remember, diags go 5, 10, 5, 10. I don't remember that. Okay. So you went 5, so five 10, 15, 20... 25. You've moved 25 feet. 25? And the next oh. diag will be 10 feet. I'll move down then. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, can I attempt to grapple one? Yeah, sir. Certainly. Uh, that would be a CMB, which will provoke. So, first of all, actually, I've got this handy little flow chart. Which I will show Ooh. for your benefit. Okay. It's a total action. So, attacker's to... turn. Attacker initiates grapple as a standard action. You do okay. not have grapple or the grab ability. Let me get rid of that on our... 
Um, nope. So this provokes from the defender. All right. He's going to slash at your hand with a dagger. Does 18 hit you? Okay. Yes. You take four points of damage. Now he's going to get choked out. Uh, <laughs> was the attacker hit? Yes. Attacker takes damage normally and applies that as a penalty to their CMB check. So now you're going to roll CMB. Minus four. Hold on. I'm doing damage. Okay, CMB. Mm-hmm. Versus I'm here, the you little shit. Light CMD. <laughs> so you take minus four, which would be 12. Ugh. 12 still hits his CMD. So you and that might gain the grappled condition. Uh, however, you are considered in control of the grapple. Okay. Put the sword up to his neck. Um, technically, just... that would be on your next turn. Oh, okay. So, though you may release the grapple him. at any time. Attacker's okay. turn complete. Attacker gains a plus five bonus to maintain the grapple. I love this flowchart. This is one of the best flowcharts I've yeah. ever gotten. Unfortunately, so complicated. yes, grappling is super complicated. Um, but that just means super detailed. I like the five E version. Oh, we went offline. What? <laughs> so much easier. We did not. Mm. I'm still seeing it. That's weird. I still see it. It wasn't only me then. Yeah, I think Twitch is just funny sometimes. Twitch needs to get his shit together. Right? Okay, so Celtiel, you grab this little mite who's... <laughs> uh, after Celtiel is Sauni. Well, I guess I'll head down the stairs. Just me, I won't grab Dragon. Oh, look at them all. They're all just trying to run away. Huh? <laughs> mm -hmm. If you had a lightning bolt, you could probably blow through the whole mess of them. Fireball. Yeah, the whole uh. mess. This one included. Mm -hmm. South Seal will remember that. <laughs> I didn't say that out loud. Well, I don't really have anything that won't hit Seltiel too, so I have to focus on one, I guess. Guess we'll have to hurt Seltiel. <laughs> 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 I mean, what a shame. You do, hey, you do you. You do you. No, I don't have anything that would work. And I can't get over there. So. So, what are you going to do? Magic missile. Oh! <laughs> are you? How many of them are you targeting? You get two missiles. Do you want both to target the same, or do you want. Yes. And who's the target? Not the one he's grappling, this one. Okay. Actually, can I talk? Can I see the spider, or would he have cover? You, if you can see it, you can see it, and since it's on the wall, no, it has no cover. Oh right, he's on the. Yeah, I'll shoot that spider off the wall if I can. <laughs> gonna crush another one. Yeah. <laughs> Do it. So, who's the target? The spider. Okay, both missiles. Yes. Roll 2d4 plus 2. It's right there. I don't see it. It's in the chat. I... Oh, there it is. Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. Both missiles hit the spider. Uh, not killing it, but Damn. smashing it against the wall briefly, and one of its legs kind of splatters out, and it seems useless to it now. That spider is badly hurt. Uh, that's it. After Sione is Olak. Uh, okay. Do I have enough room to charge? You can't technically charge through ally spaces. Uh, can I run through them? Nope. No? Nope. You need a clear All path right. to run. I guess I'll double How move. How much room do you need to charge? Could he move here and then charge? Nope. Charging is a full round action. Ah. I Technically, if you take that. the run feat, you can charge or you can sprint through ally spaces. Just so you. No, that's what I wanted to do then. You have the run feat. Oh, run feat! No. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'll do it then. Okay. Twenty feet. That's it. Yes, Double move. So Olak kind of runs after these fleeing mites. 
Maurizio, it's your turn. Well, I just kind of want to see what's going on, so I'm going to move up. Okay. Oh. That's so sad. <laughs> For your information, one of your daggers is still in this guy's forehead. <laughs> if you well, I guess I'll go, I'll go get that. You want to grab that? Yeah. Okay. You... And then I'll use... Oh, sorry, go ahead. I was just going to say you can add one dagger back to your inventory. Okay, and can I draw my rapier? Mm-hmm. Okay, so I have a dagger and a rapier in my hand. You, I see what you did there. <laughs> Aren't you tricky? Yes, you have a dagger and a rapier. Yay! I can't do anything else now, no, though. No, no. Uh, well, okay. Okay. That's um, my exciting turn. So you so kind of... Exciting rip the dagger like you have to shake it a little to get the might off of it like it went into his head up to the hilt um dragon and then Feya. Feya. i am just gonna uh... Just counting. Just Remember, <laughs> diags are 5-10, 5-10, so you may want to use... I word. went down and... Oh, oh, okay. Just making it simple. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, and then what? I am... Gonna try and tangle foot bag them. Oh! Are they small enough to where a tangle foot bag can hit two? Let me find out. Get the spider, it has my dagger. Um, yeah, we don't want him stealing that. Anymore, don't you? <laughs> Just imagine what a spider could do with a dagger. Oh god. With eight arms. Uh, when you throw it at a creature... It's a small bag. It's a small ten pound bag. I would say you can get two as long as they're really close together. So, like, these two you could get. Yeah, I was going for them. Okay, then you, yeah, I'll let you target both of them with the tangle foot bag. So you throw it. I don't. Make a ranged attack roll. Okay. There's uh, just a button for ranged attack roll on your sheet, which is beautiful. There is? Yeah, look at that, isn't that? A natural one. Oh! What? How? Oh what are you doing? <laughs> How? Hey, uh, roll again. This is just to get the net ones out. Roll Here. again to get the net ones out. Say, you have like five more, don't oh you? My God. <laughs> Keep rolling. 999 D20. Roll it right now. Don't. It'll, it'll crash. That will crash. I roll know. 20. <laughs> um, I will do it. Though. This was really just a check to make sure you didn't get a natural one, but you did. <laughs> Jesus. It, I, I gotta that... roll a D8 to see where it goes instead. Oh, I... oh no. That... Poison from the spider is really messing me up right now. Seven. Uh -huh. So it goes like right over here. You actually almost got yourself. Like you went to throw it and your arm kind of locked up from the spider's venom still coursing through and you, and it just kind of fell out of your hand in front of you. You didn't quite throw it. Uh, uh, and I it, really pff, weak. Oof. Right all over the floor there, just sticky tar oh, and resin. Actually, if you want, we could even say that some of your uh, failed potion went into this Tanglefoot bag. Yeah. <laughs> so there's no, a little no, bit of that. No, it on the floor. It's canon. She scooped it out into her floor. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It kind of is. Nope. Yeah. I well, think every failed potion I'm going to do that to you guys now. That didn't, uh, that didn't work out very well. I'm sorry, Feya. Uh, after you is the mites. Well, let's open back up my grapple flow chart and start with the grappled one. Round two, defender's turn. A grappled defender may attempt to become con the controlling grappler, attempt to break free. I think we're going to attempt to break free. That Which means defender well. makes CMB or escape artist check versus your CMD. So find out what your CMD is. CMD. Mm -hmm. D is in Delta. Mm -hmm. 17. 
So it's a DC 17. <laughs> We're going to go with CMB. He gets a 13. Yeah. So he's just... Ah, ah, ah. Can't get out. Stop, stop, struggling. He's trying really hard. <laughs> Failure. Both parties continue to have the grappled condition. The attacker is still controlling the grapple. I don't get an opportunity attack or anything. No, like because that. while you are while you have the grappled condition, you cannot take opportunity attacks. Oh, good to know. Um, so you still have that one. Mm -hmm. um, these two are gonna run. That's twenty feet, and then we're gonna go down here. The spider is going to scamper along the wall. Actually, since he's staying sideways, I'm going to have that might make a ride check to stay mounted. <laughs> so as the spider just scurries along the wall, the might falls off and just hits the floor and lays there prone. Just kind of shivering while the spider disappears around that corner. That might die? No. He's just prone. Oh. These three are all going to run for it. Actually, what, what's the range on prestidigitation? Like, a lot. At least 30. Probably 60. 10 feet. Uh, oh, I thought it was longer. Only 10 feet. That is a shame. That is a shame. Shixies. Okay. Um, well, then all three of these mites are just going to run for it. Provoking with one? Uh, yes. Provoking. That one will provoke from you. Well, what will provoke from me then? Rawr! That one's <laughs> all around. What the heck? Olak uh, roars in annoyance and swings and just... Clack hits the stone where that mite was standing. You can hear the distant growing sounds of a raspberry being blowed in your direction as they run away. Uh, Dodgy. Dodgy? Gonna go for the little guy. <laughs> She's focusing, so she doesn't roll an out one. Okay, just making sure. I can't... I don't actually see you guys' webcam, so I don't know if you heard me or not. It's not letting me move Dodgy, though. It keeps... You're running moving. down the hall? Dodgy is going to go to the mite between near Olak and Celtiel. Oh, the one Celtiel has grasped in his fist. Yep, he's going to bite. Okay. Uh, Because it is grappled... Ooh. Uh, There's the net. It has a minus Ooh. two. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Jesus. Well, uh, 13. <laughs> 13 confirms face. a critical hit. So Dodgy deals four points of damage, runs across the floor, leaps up, catches hold of a mite by the throat, <sighs> and then just crushes it, bites its throat out. And Celtiel, you're just hanging onto a l dead, limp mite. Well done. I'll just drop it, I guess. <laughs> Is Dodgy gonna let go of it? Ava? No, I said no, not yet. About it. Oh. Okay, so Dodgy's just hanging on to this dead mite and drags it away from Celtiel a little bit. Uh, uh, <laughs> Celtiel, I guess that makes it your turn. My hands are free! <laughs> well, technically, you've got a sword in no. one hand. Sword in one hand, but my hand's no longer You are no longer grappled. <sighs> Light. I cast it on my sword. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm not sorry. It's fine. Uh, Alright, I'll begin to move forward. Okay. Once I have light on my... There we go. Oh, <laughs> you moved me back. <laughs> I did? Yeah, for like five seconds. Oh. 10, 15, 20, 25... 30? Really? Either? 5, 10? Yep. 
thought these fuckers were slow. They are. They're double moving. Oh. <laughs> um. Or they're dashing, technically. That's fair. I don't have. I have like what a bonus action. No such thing. <laughs> or yeah, swift action. Which really, you've already used the only swift action you can do. Uh. So. Can I throw an alchemist fire? You used your standard action to cast light. Okay. That's fine. So, that brings it to Sauni. Well, I guess I gotta move again. Because they keep running away from me. <laughs> I regret nothing. Aha! You can't escape. I will cast another magic missile at that. Both on this one. That the one that's lying prone on the ground? No. I meant this one. Okay. Both targeting the same one. Now, to be clear, yes. you do know that four hit points mm -hmm. is enough to drop them to at least negative one, meaning they have three or less hit points. Okay. Just These so you... haven't taken any damage, right? Correct. Okay. So you're targeting the closest of those trio. Both missiles hit him one after another <laughs> and knock him to the ground. He, like, raises a hand pitifully and then goes still. Aww. Um, I guess that's it for Sony. Oh, lock. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, I know where this is going. Way. Charge. Look how straight that is. Charge. Look how straight that hallway is. <laughs> Technically, you could sprint if Celtiel wasn't in your way. Yeah. Whoops. Though you can, right. you can charge the prone one if you want. Oh, uh, I can't. Well, let me do this again. Well, hey, no, you, you, can, you can charge. It doesn't have to be straight, like, oh. square in a straight line. As long as you can get to him in a straight line without crossing through your ally, you're good. And oh, from okay. where you were, you can. Wait, which would be over here, yep. so... So you can get to him. For Gorom! Ah! Swing! With a plus two bonus, that's 27. Uh, seeing as he is prone, yeah, that'll hit. For 14 damage. Excellent. Okay. Uh, wow. You, with that Can sword... Can I go him? Yeah, and like, there's nothing but a splash of might, blood, and organs because you completely, like, wrecked his body like a gore-filled water balloon. And I'm gonna try to go for gory finish when I can. Oh, as a feat? Yep. I'm glad that's what you settled on. Uh, okay. So that's another might down. Mariziel. Okay, uh, move. Five? Ten? Fifteen? Twenty? Oh, no. Twenty-five? So that would well, actually like, be 30, because the second diagonal you take in a turn is 10 feet instead of 5. Oh. Oh my goodness, I'm not used to being so slow. I hate this. Let me see if you can actually reach him. Technically, you have a range... So you can... If you don't mind taking a minus 10 penalty... Right, 10. Wait. No, that's... Is that minus 2, minus 4, minus 6... Okay, I'm sorry. So if you don't mind taking a minus six penalty, you could attack this one. Though Why would... For range. Why? The range increment on a dagger is ten feet. Oh, okay, okay. Um, he would also yeah, have I mean... plus two cover because Olak is in the way. But technically, if you don't mind taking that minus eight penalty, you have a chance of hitting him. Well, I guess I'll try. Why not? I'll try to throw it. Um... Do I click the dual wielding one for this or no? Because it's ranged. Uh, yes, this would be dual wielding. If you okay, hit him, what... this is going to be incredible. I don't know what the difference is, but... It has a lower accuracy. Uh, six? You throw the dagger and it just kind of... <laughs> Bounce up. And just tings off of Olak's armor. Oh! Sorry. You didn't even notice it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll go... I can't do that. Yep. I'm not used to being so slow. It was a valiant effort. I don't like this. Yeah. My 55 well, feet you know, of movement back. Monks are bullshit. Faya. 
Well... I'm gonna just turn the corner. Five. Ugh. I... have nothing. So, instead, I'm gonna do detectors. You're gonna cast <laughs> a spell? Alright. Uh, technically, your detect fiends should still be active as well. Are they pinging? No. Yeah, well, I don't really have spells, so I might as well look around the room for a little bit. Okay, so I, detect... I went more utility for the dungeon delve. So detect secret doors. Uh, round one, you do not detect the presence of secret doors. Okay. Um, and that's it for Feo's turn. Ow! Mites. Well, <laughs> uh, these two are gonna disappear from this map. These two, this one is not able to, but he's gonna go here. Okay, and then this one, I'm just gonna use my arrow keys because it's faster. Five, 10, 15, 20. Okay. That's it for the mites. Spider is also going to disappear from this map. Dodgy. My dagger. Dodgy is going to let go for one. <laughs> okay. And he's going to run down the hallway. Aww. Wait. Speed is 40. So it'd just be eight squares. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, he's gonna double move. Mm hmm. One, two, three, four. Oh, I can't see through Dodgy's sight. I don't know where to stop him. I got it. That was four? I don't want him adjacent. Understood. Okay, that's where Dodgy gets to. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Um, after Dodgy is Celtiel. All right, I'll be getting a. Well, I'll round this corner first. Twenty-five. Ow! It just occurred to me. I feel like at this point I should switch to Chase. No, not another one. And I see a small like little cavern thingy, or. Um. That's right. That is an area. Uh, no, all you really see is um, a slightly more open space in the hallway that uh, leads to a spiraling stairwell leading down. Oh, okay. That's okay. Gotcha. Um, I'm going to throw a double move. However far I can move this time. Okay. Running down the steps. There, maybe, I think. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. I think it'll be one back, maybe. Uh, yeah. Okay. They're running for it. Sioni. They shan't escape. No. Nope. Must kill them, <laughs> apparently. Yeah, I was wondering why we're trying to kill them. Cast Doom on us! No, okay, I... They are out of my sight. I'm following Marizio. A mistake, what? really. I'm following her lead. <laughs> I'm <laughs> behind like, you! Hide me! <laughs> I'm following her lead. In killing okay. them. Still <laughs> behind! Okay. I get up here. Um, why are we still chasing them? Come on, they left. Let's just forget it. And that's all I can do. 
Uh, if you guys want to end initiative, you are welcome to. It's up to you guys, though. I need a unanimous agreement, otherwise initiative continues. Why are we chasing them? Because the spider has my dagger. <laughs> to die. Says Mariziel shamelessly with seven daggers visible on her person and one in the hand. Actually, six visible oh. and one at Olak's feet. Right. Right. I forgot you threw that one. <laughs> Did I see that, by the way? Standing there so long. Probably heard just the metallic <laughs> ting. <laughs> ting. Okay. So, do you guys want to end initiative or do you want to keep going? End. Uh, I like to they're win. They're yelling. Fine, I have. Stop. I'll pause on the stairway. Okay. Initiative we'll has back. ended. I have a couple more, I guess. <laughs> I'll kick the dagger back towards her. I'll go pick it up. Well, a grand total of four mites escaped out of nine. Hmm. hmm. Yeah, it was the one that got hit here. No, now they're gonna breed! Into more. Why are we stopping? I wanted to check out this room. Because we don't need to do that. Come on. Killed half their friends, and we stop now? Okay, well, you go finish them off then. They're not really a threat, are they? I mean, I'm look at them. I'm following you. <laughs> oh, so kind of like I they snuck up on you. I thought, they, I thought you were ready to fight them. I, I didn't know what it was, okay? It scared me. Think I've been down here before? Have you been down here before? Have no. You? <laughs> oh. Just making sure. I don't know what this thing is, I'll just like tow it with my boot, the mite. Uh, they were pretty scared. They seemed really scared. I, I mean, the last time we heard Olak killed one, and now we're killing I just thought that's what we were doing. Mm -hmm. Just killing oh, randomly? Oh. Clearing the way, I thought. That's what was. I'm gonna start walking back up the stairs, I guess. But they're so squishy. I'm gonna look at Marizio and speak in Elven. If it makes you feel better, they... They no good, Align. They very bad. They are Fey, I say in Elven as well. I can't speak this shit, so I'm gonna look around <laughs> and just see what I can find. I'm just gonna reply back in Elven. Well, do they have any, like, good treasure they're hiding around, or...? Yeah, can, can I look, look at that? Yeah, uh, the pair for the bracer is here. Is Olak wearing the bracer as a crown? Make a perception check, Olak. As a crown? Wait, no. what about me? And Sam. Backpack. You have a jerk? They do have magical items. Uh, we're actually looking for the other half of what uh, Olak has. I say mm. an Elven. <laughs> I got the can. So, the two of you kind of glancing around. Picking things up, searching around, taking maybe five minutes to search this large living chamber. Uh, you find a lot of furniture made out of garbage and refuse, so it's pretty comparable to a standard Ikea. Um, <gasps> oh, yeah. How dare you? Oh, yes. <laughs> um, that's about it, though. They, like, There's no gold or treasures, no idols or holy symbols or alchemy. It looks like some of them were trying to whittle bits of rock and it wasn't working, but it looks like they've been doing it for weeks, if not years, and they never figured out how to whittle. Aww. Um, someone tied a whole bunch of ribbons out of frayed rope that looks like it came out of a wrecked ship. Um, most of the ribbons are tied incorrectly. Uh... What were they doing down here? So cute. <laughs> that they were tidy. I just think it's really funny that you fucking murked one. <laughs> You're like, oh my well, god. Well, I didn't mean to, <laughs> I know, honestly. I know. It was an accident. How? This is the second accidental killing That's of a mic. Second... <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> uh, <laughs> they're just so killable. Um, so I walk up. As you guys are kind of searching through the room, I'm going to use this opportunity. We're going to take a quick five, ten minute break, uh, get okay. some drinks, some snacks, take a potty break. We will be back with everyone 
in just a few minutes for the second half of our episode. So see just you all before, soon. Hmm? Before the break, real yeah. quick. Yeah. I'm just gonna just walk up to Faye and cast Infernal Healing on her. Don't do it, I'll give you a trap stamp. Faye, I can get rid of it. Your fiendish detection suddenly, like your vision goes red and you spasm in a little bit of pain. I don't make a sound. It's, it's an involuntary jerk of the body before you feel the wounds begin to heal of their <laughs> own volition. What? I don't make a sound. I don't want to give him the pleasure. Like when it you actually. Would, uh, me. Big performance. It looks like you were getting hurt. Mm. Anyway, that's it. <laughs> and now we'll take our break, and we're back. Hey everyone, thanks for waiting patiently. Hello. Hello. That was more than five minutes. It was slightly more than five minutes. That was twelve minutes. For, it's five in Canada. Yeah, we, yeah. It, they, it was uh, five metric minutes. Yes. <laughs> uh, you guys are still in the crow. You've spent a little time at this point going through all of the garbage furniture. And it is actually quite impressive how they managed to take rock and bits of shipwreck and floating trash and turn them into... Divans, beds, tables. They could probably make a business out of this. They're quite skilled. But is unfortunately, that there's, there that's all there is in here. Well, if anything else, we can make a bonfire out of this. Just give the mite Swedish accents. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> I don't ever want to hear that accent in one of my D&D games again. Your brother ruined oh. that. Set oh, is that, that so? Oh, yes, he did. Uh, anyway. That's what my Infernal's going to sound like. What would you guys like? <laughs> <laughs> what would Welcome you guys to like to the do? Rusty Dragon. <laughs> you motherfuckers. Well, you railed. <laughs> Sorry. I'm so sorry, <laughs> chat. I'm so sorry. I'm not. Let's <laughs> <laughs> like the head downstairs then. You guys want to gather up and head down? Yes. Yeah. Yes. yes, sir. Okay. You follow the mites down the steps. The dead mites? Uh, no. There's no mite bodies. One second. It's black. It's so black. Oh no, you're there. Yeah. You just gotta find the, the right corner. Uh, oh yeah. The beautiful map. Oh no. No 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 no. What what the hell? Why why is it showing that? It's not showing what? Showing Nothing. What? Nothing. Showing showing what? What the hell? What is it? It's what doing hallway? it again. It... Oh god, we're not supposed to see this hallway. What do you guys? Can you guys only see per light source, or? Yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> well. Well, look at that thing, though. Twitch, I'm just gonna count on you guys not to, not to tell any secrets. Oh, should we not look at Twitch? And apparently, <laughs> I have to uh, stop giving my tokens sight. Don't I have dark vision though? No. Not that far. You have low light vision. Oh. Similar, but not the same. Same, same. So as you guys come down but the steps, yeah. you find yourselves in... Uh, what the hell? Why is it still showing everything? You find yourselves in a dark, dusty corridor. Webs overgrow everything. Actually, I've got a description. This dank stone hallway is increasingly choked with spider webs to the south, while to the west, they thin and disappear. The steps, it was about 30 feet that they took you down. At this point, you would imagine you're 60 to 80 feet below sea level. How deep did the uh, shore was supposed to go down on this part of the uh, bay again? Like 100 something feet? Something like that. It's yeah. Uh, I don't think you guys ever actually found out how deep the sea is. Somebody checked. No? I don't think. Never mind. Do we know from local knowledge? 
Um, you can do a knowledge. This would be knowledge oh, geography. Oh. Ah. <clears throat> which I love that local? that's a skill. I would what say about... knowledge local, but it'll be a higher DC. Oh, well, I can only go up to 10. What about knowledge dungeoneering? You're not or sure nature. how deep it is. Or nature. Nope, it would be geography. What? What is Dungeoneering used for, then? What kind Dungeoneering of would be, like, uh, knowing things that live underground, identifying types of mushrooms, okay. uh, identifying... In fact, identifying mites would be Knowledge Dungeoneering, knowing things about okay. them. Uh, okay. It's underground lore, basically. Okay. Um, knowledge Geography is for geographical uh, trivia, tidbits, country lore, stuff like that. So knowing how deep the Vrizian Sea is would precisely be knowledge geography. Gotcha. All of my knowledge areas are empty. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you had knowledge local. Oh, yeah, I do. Never mind. <laughs> Means you can't get above a 10. <laughs> I mean... For knowledge local. Or whatever, right? Well, it says knowledge local six, so that's something, I guess. But everything else is zeroed, zeroed out. <laughs> I'm so smart. That's street smart, smarts, and that's what matters. Aw, thanks. Just kidding, it's all the other ones. <laughs> all is high. There we go. My headset was dying. Hmm. Okay, Dude, so the peanut butter! Oh, can I oh. check, like, like, can I find from where here, like, the mites went? Make yeah, a like survival that. check. Do I just roll my own? You're doing the same thing? That. I'd like to help, yeah. Yeah. So if you want to help, you would make it. It's DC 10. No, you fail. No. So Olak, 19. Let me check survival cool. on my handy dandy. This is oh. hard ground, which makes the DC 20. Uh, However, modifiers. Only. Uh, uh, did they step on any of the bloody dead mites? It is medium, so plus zero. It is wounded, so the DC is minus one, which means it is a DC 19. Aha! So you actually notice a little bit of uh, blood going south into the deeper web filled corridor. Mm. Yes, I think they went that way. Oh, wait! That's those, that's webs? I thought that was like the floor design. Mm -mm. That's webbed. It, the, the hall is choked by the oh. density of the oh. webs. Uh, I don't like this. <laughs> Though to the to the west, it's more clear. Perhaps we go west first. We could just burn all that, couldn't we? Yeah, I was actually it. getting a torch and <laughs> Like, cause it burns really quickly. You just need fire. We might not want to be standing in it, though. Oh, are we standing in it right now? Mm -hmm. yes. Kinda, yeah. <laughs> please, I mean, don't, please don't wave the light yet. It 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 wouldn't really do anything, like because if you guys have ever curiously burned the hairs on your arm, it goes nope. away in like a second. I haven't done that. Like I've literally... never done that. Well, well, thick spider web might be a little bit different. I think the the yeah. I... Would I know? Would I know? I guess how <laughs> how, how flammable is this? Like, it would it hurt really us, quickly. or would it just go? <sighs> Tell you what, why don't you make a knowledge dungeoneering check? There we go. Oh. That's what I was looking for. <laughs> a plus seven in that. I'd like to aid him in this. You 17. are not allowed to aid on knowledge oh, checks, knowledge. but you Unless can make your own. Hard. So, is there seven. no such thing as advantage in this game? There is not. Okay. Um. Both of you would know that these webs would probably burn. It wouldn't really harm anything in them, unless there's, like, tiny little spiders. But it would certainly announce your arrival. It would, in, it would alert any spiders in those webs, which would be oh, sensitive to the problem. web's vibrations. Oh, shit, our house is on fire. Perhaps, perhaps we wait until we're ready to make a declaration of... <laughs> We're here. We're ready to fight. Other than they the mites already, running are, down this way. They already know. 
then what's the point? Mm, no way. <laughs> it's not really doing anything <laughs> Actually, to us, though. Actually, <laughs> fine. Instead, I will put my little torch away. I'll stop trying to light it. And then I'll start gathering the webs and putting it in my bag. Uh, that? It's gonna be real sticky. That's going to be like, tough to do. I'm going to have Faya... Oh, oops. I forgot you had a light source. I thought Sioni had the light source. I do. Oh. I do as well. Okay. Uh, I... Go ahead and make a survival check, Faya. I don't want a lot. I just want a little bit. Okay. Noted. 11. I do think cobwebs are you, spell uh, components. Try to... <laughs> they are. Like, you get a little bit, though in the process, you end up getting it all over your hands, arms, face. You kind of get a little tangled in it and have to cut your way out. You did get a bit of web, like we'll say one handful worth, like a, a full handful. But. And I'm just gonna leave the spider webs on me. Okay. <laughs> Camouflage. Cool. Can't tell if you're doing that in defiance of what I told you, or. Just you Fun. Know. I like how all of you guys are like huddled together too. We just haven't moved. I have yet. to get off the stairs. Oh. Uh, well, so to the west first, or no? No. But um, you'd like me to go ahead again? Yeah, I'll follow closely behind this time. <laughs> I will actually try to sneak this time. With me behind you. Um, can only speak <laughs> for myself. <laughs> Fine. I will try to sneak. This is me sneaking. Okay. Stop. Stop. Oh, oh. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Wow. So sneaky. Clank, we can clank, work. clank. Don't worry, I'm sneaky. I'll be like, no, you gotta set your foot down like this, quietly. Fifteen. I was hoping it was low. Okay. <laughs> clank, <laughs> clank, low. Clank. You are able to move fairly delicately, though you also are gonna get a lot of spider webs on you. Um, and these spider webs do hinder movement a little bit. Moving. Oh, let's just get to start swinging. Can we, like... Stop to like take them off of us at some point when you're out of them. Oh, in them, unfortunately, you're just while you're trying to get them off, you're just going to get even more on you. I don't like that. But I guess I don't really have a choice. I mean, the webs end about five feet ahead of you. Oh, okay. Well, I'll move ahead. <laughs> Jeez, five feet. What am I going to do? <laughs> I'm stuck here forever. And then remove the webs from my body. Okay. I'm going to move forward as well, quietly, I suppose. I'll make a stealth check if we're still trying to be quiet. Dong. <laughs> Dong. Nope. Lyrian's not even here, and you still can't yeah. do the stealth thing. Can I intimidate people into... S be I'm quiet. like, I'm not here. Yeah. If there are people, <laughs> certainly. Um... So up ahead, Marzil, you can make out a room. Okay. And actually, Are you I'm going to go ahead. So well, I don't know guys... how far he wants me to go. No, you can you can move into the room. Okay. Um, as you guys move into the room ahead, you can see that three long cell block corridors extend out from this central guard room. Each hall mm. features numerous iron cell doors. Is this the room? Oh, okay. I just don't see anything. Aha. You need I'm a light source. Light on my handful of webs. Oh. So I can't see anything in low light then, well, really. In, okay. So think of it like this. Low light is nighttime vision. This is pitch darkness. There is no light at all down here. This is not low light. This is no light. Oh. So I can no see light? fine with my dark vision then? Or? Yes. Olak can see. Uh, oh, but jealous. as Faya lights up, uh, now what else low light vision does is it doubles the distance you can see from normal light sources. So while mm -hmm. Faya, for instance, can only see 40 feet, you can actually see 80 feet okay. from her light source. Does that make sense? Yeah. So no point really in sneaking around since we're going to have light on us anyways. And as Faya and Celtiel move in here with their bright lights and kind of illuminate ah. down these... These three cell block corridors. I need everyone to roll initiative because you see some large spiders. No. Uh, 
of a different hey. variety on these walls, <laughs> and I will show you what they look yeah. like. My dodgy's not here. In a moment. Yeah, neither's oh, Dragon. Sorry, I will move them on here in a minute. You shouldn't need yeah. the tokens, though, for initiative, since we're using something else. Man, hmm. why didn't I buy some... Some what? Some uh, vermin repellent. <clears throat> yeah. Oh. Round up. Why didn't you? I forgot that thing exists in Pathfinder. <clears throat> Pathfinder has damn near everything you could ever want. Um. Ah, oh, come on. The spiders that you are seeing look like <laughs> like this. <gasps> It looks like those cave spiders. In real life. They look like oh, yeah, camel they spiders. They yeah. are not. Pathfinder actually has a monster called Giant Silificids, which is the proper name for camel spiders. Silificid. A shark eating crab? What the fuck? Is that runes on it? Could be. Huh. You tell me, and I will study. I want to see that. Um, <laughs> they don't appear to be magical in nature. But as they, as you illuminate the chamber, they kind of snap with their pinchers and move to attack. They don't look pleased by the, the light. Oh, can I move Dodgy? Cause he's by Olak more. Yeah, yeah. You can, you guys can position your familiars accordingly, and I should roll initiative as well. All right, let's get some numbers. Mariziel, what's your initiative? Uh, ten. Dragon. Faya? Eleven. What was it? Eleven. Eleven. Uh, there are no mites. There's no giant spider. Dodgy. Fifteen. Celtio? Twenty. Sione? Fifteen. Olak? Sixteen. And finally we have a nineteen for the crab spiders. Uh-oh. Okay, so Celtiel, you have initiative. There's no surprise round here. Uh, okay. I would say all of you are pretty equally distraught and dis and surprised by the presence of the other. I believe I need to use another arcane pool to buff my thing. It's been like a minute, right? Oh, it's been well over a minute. It's probably been all closer right. to 15 so, minutes. Swift action, just... And I will run over. Your sword begins to glow with a faint red light. And I will come over to the uh, western spider. That Now, that spider is up on the wall, just so you know. Oh! like The ones who are pressed adjacent no? to the wall, um, I believe they are 15 feet high, so you'd have to jump to get, get uh, it, uh, which there's no roll involved in that. I'm just going to say... Um, actually, I think there is a roll for jumping. Yep, high jump. It is an acrobatics check. Not good at those. Are all of them on the ceiling? No. Um, only the ones adjacent to the wall are on the walls. This one over here is on the floor, hmm. as is the one at the back of the southern cell block. I will... And something to be aware of, by the way. Knowledge checks have quantifiable things that they can give you depending on result. So, like, to identify a creature's abilities or weaknesses is 10 plus its CR, as an example. Or generic questions, or what, what have you. I'm not saying you should, I'm just letting you know for future reference. And in this case, uh, it would be Knowledge Dungeoneering. Is that just at will I can do that? Mm -hmm. or... mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, sure, I'll, I'll see if I know any of, any of its weaknesses. Um... Engineering. 17. <clears throat> okay. And it is CR one half. So you know that these are giant crab spiders. They're small, like, dog-sized vermin. They have... Hang on. I feel like that something's missing here. Music. No, the music's going. Oh, nope, there oh. it is. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I couldn't hear it. There's huh. that screeching sound. Of combat. 
Contrary to the fact that they have pinchers, they do not actually use the pinchers for offense. Um, they also are slower than their giant spider kin. Primarily, the main thing you'd have to worry about is their bite, which, just like any other giant spider, will slowly cause paralysis. Um, they have weaknesses? They don't really have weaknesses. However, they are immune to any mind-affecting effects, including things like Charm Monster or okay. anything of the, that nature. You know that their will is weak otherwise. Okay. And they are not super hardy. I will... This whole, can I hold my action and still do the spell combat spell strike stuff, or no? Run that by me again? If I hold an action, mm -hmm. can I still do the spell strike spell combat? I see what thing? you're saying. Can you ready an action to... Uh, to no, readying an action would be a different kind of action than... Okay. Because spell strike so that... specifies it must be the attack. <clears throat> Standard action. So then I will take... I will cast... Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna hold to attack once, so, or I'm gonna take the dodge action. You didn't want to try the jump. Uh, can I still attack twice if I do it? Uh, um, using my spell combat stuff. I would say no. You could you could still use spell strike. You would not be able to use spell combat, which would be two strikes. Does that make sense? Oh. So yeah. one jump would be good for I'll one try, strike. I'll try just one. I'll just try. You want to try? Sure. Okay, sure. so that'd be an acrobatics check. You have a running start. Or actually, you know what? I can still do spell combat. I'll attack once normally. And not use... Um, spell strike? Yeah. Okay. So you run ahead, oh. leaping through the air. You slice at this spider. And 19. 19. Uh, actually, you need to make the acrobatics check first. For oh, right. Whoops. Sorry. No problem. 20, Oof, nat 20. Natural 20. Hell yeah. Nice. You jump through the air, hacking into the spider. Nine slashing damage. Ouch. Um, you chop off one of its crab arms that was just kind of reaching for you, and it falls to the floor. The spider screeches and skitters back on the wall, uh, blood dripping out of it onto the floor. Ooh, impressive. Faya, got a claw for you. <laughs> uh, so I'll, I won't cast anything. I, that's, okay. That's, yeah. Well, okay. that crab spider does not read the room very well and is going to come down to take a little bite out of Celtiel. Okay. And miss. This crab spider scuttles across the floor... Does that provoke for me, or no? No. Oh. Okay. Uh, toward Mariziel. Hmm. And is going to attack Mariziel, though you have plus two to your AC because the corner gives you partial cover. So does 17 hit... Or I should say, does 15 hit your armor class? No. And because you are... You have uncanny dodge, you cannot be caught flat-footed... So even though you have not yet acted an initiative, you are still getting your full armor class. That's awesome. Okay, cool. So you pull back around the corner, and the spider doesn't quite get to you. Mm. Uh, this spider scurries along the wall. And is actually going to climb down onto the floor here. Finally, this southernmost spider scurries along the floor and is going to double move. And that's it for the spiders. Olak. Alright, well. For Gorum! And. I'm gonna try a power attack! Wait, that's not right. <laughs> It didn't do the damage on there. How come it's... Uh... What? That's weird. That is that is weird. What happened? Alright, well... 2d6... Plus 3. Wait, let me just... Let me just re-roll that. Why is it doing that? 
That's just for the damage. Oh, I'm rolling damage. That's a waste of a perfectly good critical hit. That's a shame. Okay. Well, this one is a plus two to damage. I don't know why I wasn't adding the damage on that okay. one. Okay. Okay. So 10, 12 points of damage. You bring your sword down and cleave this spider right in half. Its shell crunches as your sword cuts through it. Mm. Okay, one more time. That fixed it. Okay. And is that it for Olak? Yes, sir. You have effectively got rid of a natural 20 and a natural 1. That's true. That's fine. <laughs> Dodgy. Dodgy's gonna go to the one by Marzil and behind it, because flanking's in this, right? Oh yeah, absolutely. Mm. So he's gonna flank. Which means Marzil does sneak attack if she hits that one. You're welcome. And he's going to bite. He has plus two to hit. For 20 to hit, will hit. And one point sneak. of actual damage. And it is immune to poison. Okay. I figured it was since they are poison. So. I think. Okay. So Dodgy takes hold of its leg and starts tearing into it. Um, next is Sioni. Okay. Oh, this is a bad idea. I'm gonna do it anyway. Yeah, we're full of great ideas. What are you talking about? I'm gonna run up here, and I'm gonna try to uh, use burning hands and hit both of them. Should be able to. If not, I will move as needed. I hit it. Uh, that's a oh, no. little far. Oh, well, look. hmm. That will provoke from one. Yeah, you'd have to cast defensively. I have improved combat cast. Okay, so that gives you plus four when you cast defensively. <clears throat> okay. So, where is it? Concentration? I don't know if it's in there or not. I think it's it, not. Uh, no, it's there. See, it says plus four. So it's 21. You blow away the DC. You easily cast defensively. So go ahead and roll Burning Hands. Sione rushes ne up next to Celtio, holds out her hands, and flames erupt from her. <sighs> Ten fire damage. <sighs> yeah, see it down below? Oh, yeah. Um, oh, I just noticed the four up top. Okay, well, which, which... which pick one and stick to it forevermore. <laughs> I obviously want the bottom one. <laughs> okay. That's always going to be the bottom one, then. Yes. I like that better. For now. <laughs> yeah, for now. <laughs> <laughs> Why would it do that? They both make I, their saves. So the one is still barbecued because Celtiel had already injured it. The other only takes five fire damage. Okay. And is able to kind of scurry away back uh, out of the reach of your flames before they die away. Gotcha back. The air suddenly smells of smoke and burnt meat. That's it for me. Faya. Um, just go up to this one and whack it. <laughs> Quarter staff, where you at? Okay, 19 will hit. So you whack it with your staff for two points of bludgeoning damage. And then it is Marizial. I would like to attack the one in front of me with my rapier. So you draw your sword, which... Yeah. yeah. Uh, Good. Ooh, critical, natural, so critical threat. Now in Pathfinder, you have to roll to confirm a critical hit. That's the 16. Because you're flanking, um, that goes up to 18, and, no, that's it. So 18 confirms, meaning instead of doing 7 damage, you do 15 piercing plus your sneak attack. Okay, so 15 plus, uh, oh, I still have to roll sneak attack. Mm -hmm. um, 15, five? so 20 points of damage. Yeah. Uh, 
you stab uh. right through the face of this crab spider, and your the tip of your blade just sticks out its back, maybe a half a foot from Dodgy's snout. Ooh. And you rip it out, and the spider just collapses weakly on the floor. That, you gross little thing. <clears throat> um, and you drew your sword as a move action, so that would be your turn. Ooh. I already had it in my hand. Though technically, you may take a five-foot step since you didn't move. Oh, you did? Well, upstairs I did. I assume I'd keep it out. Okay. I got the rapier and the dagger. Good to know. I will keep that in mind for future reference. Uh, I'll try to say it more So often. in that case, and you, I noticed you did put dual wielding, so good. You may move still then if you'd like. Well, I can't see anymore. Um, so... Are there any more? One down here. Oh, okay. Hmm. Oh, technically, <coughs> you could also throw a dagger. Yeah, okay. Why can't I do that? Because you're dual wielding and... Oh, no, no, no. Because you moved, you you can't. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You can't okay. make all your attacks if you also move, unless it's only five feet. Okay, so if I hadn't moved, then I could attack with my rapier and attack with my dagger. Mm -hmm. But I can't do that because I moved. Exactly. Because you moved okay. more than five feet. Okay. Um, but you can see it now over there. Scorched. Withdrawing into the shadows. Uh, dragon and then there Celtiel. Dragon? Or... He's just chilling on my shoulder. Oh. <laughs> uh... Yeah, I'll start running over to this one. Does charging do anything for me? Mm-hmm. Gives you plus two to hit, minus two to armor class until the start of your next turn. Yeah, I'm going to do that. So you charge straight toward it. <laughs> now, you would not be able to use spell combat or spell strike with this because charging is a special type of attack. That's fine. Okay. 23. 25. 25. That will hit. You do five. I'm assuming that's not including that you gave it a plus one. That should be included. No, I didn't give the damage a plus one. So. It's just my attack roll that gets plus no, one. No, you give it when you give it a plus one enhancement bonus. It's both. I'll look into that. Trust me, it, I, it's oh. an enhancement bonus. Uh, so you do six damage to it, killing it. You cool. slash right across its face with a second cut. Uh, you cleave right through its head and part of its body, splitting it like a log. Sweet. And the halls in this dungeon are quiet once more. Because a dungeon it clearly is, as you can now look upon three distinct cell blocks. I'd like to now look at each of those cell blocks. I'd and like to do that, too. You guys want to kind of walk through and check all the cells? Yes. No, what I... kind of cells are these? Are they, like, bars, or are they the doors? With... Um, they are iron cell doors. No. Before I start looking, I'm going to cast Detect Magic. <clears throat> okay. And then just kind of, like, look in them. Okay. You do not detect magic anywhere in here. I will say it takes you guys... 10 minutes to check all the doors and you have to each one slide the little panel open to look inside. They are mostly empty. A few have skeletons lying in them. Uh, um, I will take a few bones. Well, technically you guys don't have a way to open the doors. Well, unless I Marzio. I open the doors. Okay. So each one would require a different uh, Can I... disable device check. Can I try just to use open close on it? Yes, and it does not work. <laughs> Good try, though. No, I try to open one with a crowbar? Oh, God. You can certainly try. What do I need to try? That would be a strength check, and I believe the crowbar gives you a plus two bonus. I guess ah. I'll try each of the ones up here. One, two, three, four. Yeah, give me one second. <clears throat> Because someone is making me look up... Okay, there we go. Iron door. You got a 24, Olak? It does not open. That's what you said. Ugh. I wonder what 
do for a better grip. And Marizio, you said you wanted to try opening one of the ones with the skeleton in it for Feya? Right. I kind of want to open like all of them that are up here. If it, if, but if it takes too long, then I wouldn't bother. Each one would take maybe two minutes. And well, there are 15 doors. Well, I'll start on it. If anyone stops me, then. So you know. basically, it would take you 30 minutes to open them all. That's fine. I'll try you guys helping. Want to kind of gather up here then and wait and get them all open? Well, what I'll is just, just try one. What is, what is she doing to open them? Just... Disable device? Mm -hmm. oh. So you can roll one if you want, but this is a case where Pathfinder has something called taking 20. Um, mm -hmm. It takes longer. It takes a hell of a lot longer. But basically, in a situation where there is no threat and where there is no consequence for failure, you are treated as rolling a natural 20 on the check. Basically, well, really, you're treated as rolling every number, 1 through 20, on the check. So you may want to take 20 here, if you'd like. Okay. Um, well, I have this thing where I could take 10. Does mm -hmm. that mean anything? Taking 10 is the same concept, only it's lesser. You are guaranteed a 10. You don't roll every number 1 through 10. You just get a straight 10. All that requires is that you really not be in any great danger. And you can take 10 in this situation, yes. On a single it says on a single device, disabled mm -hmm. device check, though. Per turn. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, I guess I... Oh, I'll you just... mean the item. Yeah, the item. Oh, yeah, that would only be on one. Sorry. Okay, yeah. Um, well, yeah, I guess I'll just take 20 then. Okay. So, it takes time. Uh, what I mean, is, what is that bonus? would it be 20 minutes for every door? Not that exactly. Time. That would be a little unreasonable. Often taking 20 can, but I would say by a certain point, you just get used to doing it. Okay. Um, we'll extend it to be about 45 minutes instead of 30 minutes, but you can get all of these doors open. Okay. Assuming, what is your disabled device bonus for picking locks? Um, plus nine. So the, taking 20 would be a 29? Yeah. You don't yes. have, I thought, well, you have masterwork thieves tools too, don't you? I don't, I'm, I'm not sure if they're masterwork or not. They should be. Can you, can you look at my sheet? I don't know. I think the bracers make them masterwork. Yep. Um, oh yep. yeah, masterwork thieves tools. So yeah. Marizio basically takes off her leather bracers, just unbuckles them. And then begins this complex, like, unfolding them into different pieces of tools. And she reassembles them into a full set of Masterwork Thieves tools. Which I believe gives you plus one on the check. For a total of 30, which is the DC. So, yes, you are just barely able to pick all of these locks. These are tricky locks. Yeah, so tricky. Uh, you've never actually seen... Well, no, you have seen locks of this complexity before, but never in modern day. You only have seen locks like this in Thessalonian ruins. Um, they're tricky. In here. Unfortunately, after 45 minutes when Marizial announces the last of the doors are open, I'm sure Feo will be pleased to know there's uh, seven skeletons. All of them desiccated and ancient no signs of who they may have once been not even cloth remains around them but there is no treasure of any sort take a pinky toe bone from each of them okay oh, what a waste <laughs> no no waste there's no treasure oh, whoa treasure. I mean treasure. How would we find treasures in cell doors, like in the cell block? <sighs> Thessalonian relics. I just thought, you know, the locks are so hard to get open. Thought there'd be something good in something. But oh well. Aren't there still more passageways. Yeah, at the end of the western cell block is a room, um, which opens up into more. Looks like though the north and south cell blocks are dead ends. Like here, where I am. Mm -hmm. No. You can see that the passage there turns south 
and there are a flight of stairs that descends into an open room. Mm. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna follow Ola. So there's absolutely nothing in the cells, except for seven. A few skeletons, yeah. Daji's gonna follow him as well. Is there anything on the wall? Anything written on the wall? Um, you'd have to, well, you kind of brush away some of the dust and grime and cobwebs, mm -hmm. and you can see faded uh, runes. Just, like, lines of runes. I don't think you can read Thessalonian. Would I, read magic I can. Work? I can. Well, this is something only Celtiel has, has really noticed at this point. Um, you want to cast read magic real quick? Casting yeah. it? doesn't seem to do anything. Hmm. Alright. Move forward. Okay. Is there no, any murals very on the walls con. down here, by the way? No, no murals. Though, I will say, now that you're also kind of checking, um, you can see that there are runes not saying anything, just runes of wrath. <clears throat> it would be the equivalent of, like, um, rage, anger, murder, destruction, uh, chaos, just written here and there. Well, in a straight line, like a stripe along the wall. All words of wrath. I would like to take that moment to write it down in order. You would be writing all day. Like, it's all No, 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 here. just like, I, I, I get that, but like, just like the order that they're written, just for later. There's no recurring pattern to it, I will say that. Okay. Um, oh. It just runs through. My knowledge of vocabulary is not enough to know all the different words. It's just different synonyms for all of those. Okay. But you, then... you get the idea. Um, all the synonyms of uh, wrath? Of wrath, rage, destruction, stuff like that. Anything dealing with wrath. Anything angry. Yep. King Bradley. Very angry. Anything that writing. relates to the Hulk. <laughs> I would like to continue. By the way, um, does it look like the mites have been down here in the past? Like, is this... Make is a survival check. Previous preference on here. <laughs> um, you don't see any. You're not really sure. There's not Just... much here that would give you ease to track them. Okay. Well, I'll continue onwards. Okay. I will stomp onwards, I mean. If all of you guys are continuing down those steps uh, into the room beyond. Let me do this. Make it a little easier. Uh, the stairs descend into a room. Uh, there's a heavy stone door blocking passage to the west. And an eastern corridor exits between two cells blocked by doors of rusty iron bars. Scattered about the room are a number of instruments of torture from bygone days, now mostly mm. gone to rot and ruin. Though these cell doors you can actually see through. Do I hear anything as we approach down here or no? You go ahead and make a perception check. And Olak, you saw a creature in the shadows of this cell as you passed the door. 23. Yeah, Celtio, you can hear a rattling, hissing breathing coming from this room. Well, start out. Anyone, in, we'll look. anyone who hasn't come down the stairs, I'll alert them of that. Um, Maybe there might be something down there. Can I hear that? Yeah, yeah. I'm assuming you guys are kind of all together, so. Sounds scary. Uh, Olak, as you approach the door, the shadow suddenly flies at you, bashing, smashing its body against the door, and what? roaring at you. Uh, to give what you some it? context, let me show you a picture. <gasps> it oh, has hey. like. Uh, I don't know what oh. you call those mouth parts, like mandibles that open up as it shrieks in your face. 
Um, it's one of those stupid predator. sin spawns. How familiar. I would say Mariziel is the only one who would know one of these from sight. Not me? Sione no, was one. not around any of those, as far as I recall. The rest of you would have to make knowledge checks, right? Unless, now I have not read Hollow Mountain. I'm not sure about Olak. Olak would. Okay. Okay, well, tell me what it is then. Mariziel, really you know these to be some kind of aberrant monster. The ones that you fought, they had a bite that could um, drive one to uncontrollable rage, making them turn mm -hmm. against their own allies. And something else. Um, I thought... Yeah. They... Wait, no? I guess not. That's it. You know that their does bite it, can do that. Does it look locked in there properly? Like It, so... it looks pretty thoroughly locked in there, but it bashes <laughs> against the bar. Um, it wraps long, tentacle-like fingers around the, uh, the bars and shakes it, screaming and screeching at you, staring right at you, Olak. Oh, Olak, be careful. <laughs> their bite will drive you crazy. It's stuck in there. I don't think it's above me here. <laughs> don't let it touch you. Can't get me, yeah? Huh? Oh, no. Oh, look, if you're going to taunt it, at least just put it out of its misery and kill it. Nah, that's fine where it is. You put it out of its misery. It screams, and its, it's scream is... like it, It's almost painful at this close range, and it fills you with this... Anger. It makes your blood boil just to hear this terrible cry. Think it wants. Just gonna let it keep screaming. Does it seem like the bars are weakening at all, or that maybe the door could swing open it? Um, they appear to be holding. Okay. We're gonna kill it? I feel like we should. Not worth my time. Should I mean it's we should end it, I agree. Mm, I'm, okay. gonna, I'm gonna ready shield. <laughs> uh now so you are aware in Pathfinder shield is not a reaction, it's a standard action to yeah. cast. Oh right, right. right and right. I believe it lasts for one minute per caster level. I thought shield was immediate. Yes. Mm mm. That's fifth edition. It's a standard. Hmm. Is okay. it right here? Mm hmm <coughs> My I'll my uh, map still has not loaded in. Really? Uh it is yeah. it should not be visible to any of you technically. Not on roll twenty anyway. Everything's just is... so fuzzy for me, it's really annoying. Here, why don't oh. I just get rid of that dynamic lighting door? Put your glasses on. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> I'm twenty twenty. Oh god, it got out. <laughs> oh no. Oh, it's gonna kill us. <laughs> Um, are we all going to attack it all at once? Sure. It would have sub substantial cover through the bars, by the way. Even, like, if I come up to it and try to try to step through the bars? It, well, then, yes, in particular, then, because you're very restricted in where you can move the sword. By the bars. Do, can I make a check on it? Yeah, yep, this would what be kind of knowledge it? dungeoneering. Or um, actually, Arcana. You can use ooh, Knowledge oh, Arcana nice. with these as well. Ooh. Yay! Well, I'll do I got that a... 26. 23. <laughs> um, both of you know these to be creatures known as Sin Spawn. They turn up in some Thessalonian ruins here and there. Um, it's believed that they were created by the Rune Lords of ancient history. Um, each type of Sin Spawn is shaped wholly dedicated to its whatever sin it was made by. Uh, in this one's case, wrath. Um, all sin spawn can sense uh, their given sin in others. So if somebody here, for instance, is particularly wrathful, it would know where they are, even if it couldn't see them. Seltiel. <laughs> yeah, and does, kill it soon. does anything happen when they die? Anything in particular? 
Uh, they don't have a death burst, if that's what you're asking. No, it's not, but that's nice. Um, no, they're, nothing happens when they die. Though, funny thing, their bodies don't rot. Is that why this one is still alive, then? Must be. So... But you would know they're considered aberrations, for those of you who have humanoid targeting spells. This is not a humanoid. Okay. Yes, let's kill it. Alright. Okay. I'll try to hit it with an acid splash. I'm gonna try to stab it. Okay, is that it? I guess if there's room for me over there, I'll try to stab it as well. Sure. Alright. So, you two would be, like, here. I'll stay on the stairs and, like, from above, you know? Mm -hmm. Ooh, I don't like getting close to it. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> um, I'm gonna roll initiative for it. Oh god. Uh, Can I roll initiative? I'm just gonna keep the initiative you guys already have. I think it's quicker. Oh, okay. Um, nine. Okay. Cool. Scary. Look at its mouth. Okay, so Celtiel. You get the first attack as you uh, <clears throat> stab through these bars at it. Is it just standing there? As oh, no, push? absolutely not. It's uh, enraged, <laughs> throwing itself against the bars repeatedly, okay. reaching for you as hard as it can. It will certainly attack you on its turn. Okay. Uh, yeah. I'll go ahead and just tap through. 18. 18. Even with it... No, I'm sorry. With its cover, 18 will not hit it. It pulls back, and your sword just kind of... Right, your arm gets caught in the bars. Um, uh, is it 18? Right, yeah, because you don't have eight. the arcane plus one right now. Um, oh, no, I sorry. I casted that again as we came up to it. My bad. I didn't say it out loud, but I did take it out of okay. the thing. Olak, you are not doing anything. Dodgy. Sioni, you were casting Acid Splash. Oh, wait. Sorry, go ahead. There's no glory in killing a caged animal. You just have fun. <laughs> Let's just get clean the sword. Sioni. <laughs> Keep in mind, he has plus five to his touch AC as well. Sioni? Sorry. That's probably not going to hit, then. But there it is. Natural oh, 20. It does not confirm a critical hit, unfortunately, but it does hit. He takes one point of acid damage. Can I take the other one? No. <laughs> <laughs> he takes one point of acid damage. A bit of acid gets on him. Um, and then we have Marizio. Um, I can put my dagger away? And still attack or no? Put it away. Oh, just because you have you don't have to use the dual wielding. You can have it in hand and still just attack with your main hand. Oh, okay, cool. That's fine. Uh, fifteen. And he has not acted yet, so he is considered flat-footed. So that would be his flat-footed AC. Plus five. That will not hit. So Why you stab through. Five? He gets plus five to his because of the cover. Okay. Because okay. you guys are trying to stab him through the cell door. So yeah, this neither of you are able well. to connect with him. He uh, very dexterously slips around your blades. Uh, he seems perfectly competent, intelligent even. And now it's his turn, and he's gonna lash out at Celtiel through those cell doors. Well, he can. That's uh, fair. He's going to try to bite you. <laughs> and that'll be a natural 20. Oh, oh. Uh, does 19 hit your armor class it plus 5? still does. So it would yeah. be 14 to hit your armor Wait. class. No. Okay. He has You have cover against him just like he does against you. So oh, he does manage to grab hold of your like your hand with the blade. For just a moment, he brings it up to his maw and sinks his fangs yeah. in. And it hurts. You wrench your arm free. And I need you to make a will save 
Don't fuck this up. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> fuck <it up. laughs> you fucked it up. We're gonna have Celtio, to kill you. Celtio, you were considered sickened for the next. Uh, <laughs> for the next six minutes, you are considered sickened uh, as overwhelming, nauseating rage washes over you. Rage at every slight everyone has ever done against you. Rage at your father. Rage at the disrespect your comrades have shown you. Rage at everything you can think of. Your vision turns red. At present, you are only sickened. But play it accordingly. Oh no, he got you. So you see Celtiel for a moment just pull back with his hand. <laughs> oh god. You okay? Need a little help there, pretty boy. I kind of know how to react because you haven't really wronged me yet. <laughs> well, you hear Olak's voice behind you saying, do you need a little help, pretty boy? I'll kill him. <laughs> ah, shut up! Whoa! It's just a joke. I wasn't joking. Oh. <laughs> oh kill him. I will I just... murder you when you sleep. Oh my. Oh, look, this isn't the time. Stop. Zeltiel, you stop too. Why do you keep saying mean things? For six <laughs> minutes, you <laughs> are... you are. I'm just pissed this, off. I'm just... I rage. hate everybody. Yeah. Pretty All much, right. yeah. You should act as though Wrath is the only character trait you have. I'm King Fuhrer Bradley. <laughs> um, excuse you. Oh, wait. Yeah, he was Wrath. Yep. <laughs> um, yeah, I I'm going to have Wrath at you, son. <laughs> <clears throat> so, what are you, are you guys going to continue this? Or do you want to back... I mean, you can just... Ending combat is as simple as backing away from the door. I mean, I'm gonna keep attacking it till it's dead. Do you want to have get that looked at, Celtiel? That doesn't look good. Okay, Fine, Celtiel, it's your turn. What do you want to do? <laughs> uh, I'm going to use. Like, I'm still okay to attack him. I'm not like turned on my. You sickened. Uh, sickened just means minus two. Okay, I'm going to really? use on everything, all oh. dice rolls, not just d20. Hold on, I'm just oh. gonna add that real quick. It's rough. You can Sickens. put it. You can put it into conditions. There's uh, conditions and buttons. Oh, is, is there like mm -hmm. a full yeah. like, sickened First page. thing? And it automatically applies to all of it. I don't see sickened. Top. Top. It says conditions. I see that, but I don't see sickened. Yeah, uh, it's at the last row, second to last. Yeah. Oh. Under petrified. Oh, there ah, there we go. Cool. All right. Neat. I'm gonna use my um, spell combat spell strike. Using arcane mark, I'm gonna attack twice on this mofo. Okay, it shrieks again, enraged. You must die. Uh, sixteen will not hit it. Right, move aside. Move again. aside. Stab again through it, and again, nope. and your anger is betraying you. You're getting wild with the the swings and stabs. I'm just gonna go sit on the stairs. Take a five. Can I take a five foot step or no? Is that? Yeah, you can. You can do that to back away okay. from it. Did I hear Olak say something? Oh or yeah, no? yeah. Yeah, moves aside, pretty boy. I'll take care of it. It's having too much. I'm, I'm going to move I'm just because I don't want to get hit. <coughs> but I'm gonna be putting my hand up towards Olak. <laughs> Stay back. Okay. This is mine. Well, Olak is next on initiative. Alright, well, he's gonna shoulder shove his way in there. <laughs> <laughs> grumble, grumble, well, I'm grumble. sitting on the stairs. I just didn't move my token. One note. Not that you have to do anything with this information. I'm just informing you. Olak moving into that space you told him not to go does technically provoke. <laughs> From who? Look at Evan looking so good. <laughs> he's like, do I do it? <laughs> I ju uh, that's just a little piece of information. You can do with it what you will. We'll see what. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I got six minutes. So. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be a long six minutes. You're all it's mine, boy. Long six minutes. 
We're gonna get you with that. Oh. So your Olak uh, ignores you, stabs his sword through the bars, and it just sidesteps the blade. Doesn't come anywhere near him. If Olak looks at me, I'm staring at him. Just him. <laughs> but where I'm sitting at. That was a practice wing. Dodgy doing nothing. Dodgy's gonna be on my lap. Okay. Sayoni. I'll kind of look at Celtiel and Ol and uh, Olaf and just shake my head. I'll do another acid splash. I don't really want to waste my first level spells. Ooh, that probably doesn't hit. Just hits the door. Uh oh. How much hit? Here, I'll let can, it out. Can you keep track of how have? much damage you do to the door, by the way? Uh, huh? Keep track of how much damage you do to the door. Okay. That's two acid. Two? Okay. Because acid bypasses hardness. Noted. Uh, after Sioni, Faya, Marizial. Uh, I guess I'll try to attack it. Okay. He is it's no longer flat-footed. Flat okay. God. Uh, natural 20. Natural 20. Nice. 16 is not going to hit him with the superior uh, cover that he has, but it is still a hit. Okay, did I get the, is it tw the 29? Or? Well, it would be 10 instead of 19, because it's not a critical of... hit. It okay. was a critical okay. threat, but it did not confirm. Okay. So you do then... stab it for 10 points of damage. Ugh. Can I move away so he doesn't try to attack me? You can take a five foot. Uh, actually, well, you could take a full move if you want. If you don't mind risking the opportunity attack. Oh, I'll just take a. F if I just go five feet, then it won't provoke. Mm -hmm. You can go over there. Up. Yeah, go right there. Okay. I saw what just happened, and I don't really know about that. Yeah. Uh, he's gonna shriek. And make a grab for Olak. He's gonna do a full attack. Which is gonna be Oh my, is that for real? That's gonna be that bite means. claw claw. We're gonna start with claw claw. That mu oh. Uh, so you I have, have plus five to your armor class, yep. So that will be twenty two, so one of those hit. Twenty two hits you for five damage. And then he's going to try to bite your arm as he gets access to it. That's yes, only 16. Okay. He's trying. And you know what? He's going to take a five-foot step back. Hey. <laughs> Wait, doesn't that... Pro oh, five-foot nope. step. Yep. Celtiel. Staring at all up. <laughs> Is that gonna Look be? Look at it? this smart little bastard! That's... Hey, Marizio, open the door. No, oh, no. <laughs> going in there. What? <laughs> I don't think that's a good idea. I think great I idea. Open door. No. <laughs> I wish I had popcorn just to eat. Like just like looking back and forth as they're like, open the door. Don't open the door. Like. <laughs> Well, Celtiel, what are you going to do? Staring at Olak. Okay. Uh, Olak. <laughs> well, come over here, you... Our little bastard. Immune. Immune to mind affecting? Mm -hmm. Aww. You shout taunts or threats or whatever it is. Promises, if you will. He completely disregards you and uh, jabbers something in this horrid language that I... Wait, Faya, what are your languages? You might actually speak this one. You're the uh, only one with even the faintest chance of speaking Aklo. I do oh, yeah, speak Aklo. What? <laughs> in Aklo? <laughs> uh, oh the God. words are madness. They're mad. There's no rhyme or reason to them. Uh, he's just screaming, tear, uh, slice, cut, eat, destroy, uh, Can I shout back the exact opposite? 
So, love, enjoy. Live, peace, laugh, love. Happy. So, <laughs> human, <laughs> the human mouth can only go so far yeah. towards recreating the sounds of Aklo, but you do your, you give it your college try. Well, and, can uh, Dodgy be like an like assisting because he's Fey and everything? Just kind of like an echo. The, the, it's it's n not exactly just because Dodgy doesn't exactly have a mouth that can make speech. Or, but or, or. you come as close as a human mouth is capable of saying those things back. It is completely disregarding you, though. It's this... just screaming nonsense. <laughs> These are iron or steel bars. They're iron. Mm -hmm. Iron. Guys, this door doesn't look hungry. as strong as the ones up the steps. It hungry and angry, just so you know. Ah. Okay, come on, Marizil. Open the door. I got this. <laughs> you want me to open the door? I'll open the door, but... Olak, did you want to delay your turn? No, that was my action. <laughs> Oh. Okay. Um, then Dodgy, Sioni. Uh, oh, actually, um, how high up are the stairs over here where Sioni is? They go up 10 feet. Oh, yeah, so I'll actually go over here then. I'll, I'll, I won't move. Okay. I think 10 feet. So, Sioni. I'll just acid splash it again. I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> 22 will hit it. It takes two yeah. more acid damage. What do that? <laughs> oh, I accidentally clicked concentration. Um, Faya, nothing. Dodgy able to get inside the bars? No. That would be a bad idea. <laughs> it would be. But no. Ola wants to get into those bars. My spells are too far and few between, so I'm not going to do anything. Okay, then Marizial. You want me to open it? Yeah, wait, wait for me to get ready. I'll, I'll and then open it. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not going to open it without you standing there with that blade. I mean, he is standing there with the blade. I'm standing here. No, I'm, I would, mechanically I was thinking more of like a ready to action or something. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> if he can. You tell me. So, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'll I'll pick the lock, but I want someone to stand there with the blade. Okay. Olak readies the blade. You rush forward with your Masterwork Thieves tools. Slipping just them off your wrists. Just don't let it bite me. Please. Make a disable device check. Okay. And you'd have to move up here. <clears throat> 20. 20 is not enough. Oh. <clears throat> or is it that? Nah. Oh, wait, plus one with oh. Masterwork. 21. And it's not also putting in her level of trap plus finding. Half level yeah, trap, trap finding, finding only goes for disabling traps, not for picking locks, okay. though. Okay. 21 is not quite enough. You can almost get um, it, but this round you're not going to get it. These, those are pretty strong. And now you've got your tools kind of stuck in there, unfortunately. Oh. That's fine, I'm sure. It lunges forward. Um, and it's going to lash out at... I'm going to roll randomly. Olak. <laughs> The only man who could be happy it's attacking him. <laughs> We're going to go bite, miss, no. and claw claw. That is a natural 20 to hit you. Does not confirm, but you take another 5 damage from the claw. As he's grasping, and now he kind of gets hold of the, the hilt of your sword and is raking your fingers, raking your wrists, trying to pull you in. He manages to yank you forward and rake right across your face with those claws. After it is Dragon Celtiel. I'm <laughs> going to continue to stare at Olak, mm -hmm. but telepathically yell at my sword. <laughs> Whoa, man, why are you Miss. coming at me? You missed. <laughs> How could you let me do that? 
Do not so push your failures upon me. <laughs> your what inadequate mind failed. is what failed here. Uh, <laughs> fight! 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 You were, you were lucky to see the outside of the sheath again. You I... don't deserve my power. You are weak. <laughs> so weak. You don't deserve to be wielded by me. Get in there and kill it. Humiliate <laughs> it. Punish it. Punish them all for their disobedience. You probably couldn't even handle that. <laughs> Just staring menacingly. Six like, seconds, I think. Harder and harder <laughs> yep. and harder. <laughs> Just speaking telepathically to my sword. Uh, Olak. Um, I will wait until the uh, the cage door is open. I'll wait after Marizo. Okay, waiting, not readying. Yeah. I guess that's delaying my turn. Okay, I'm going to move your initiative to a 9.5 on the Richter scale. Whoa. Uh, Sony. I'm going to hit it with another acid splash. 13. Will not hit. So you hit the door for another okay. 3 acid damage. It's taken 5 acid damage. Yes, it has. No, you, there was... More, I thought. No, I only missed That twice. also hit him. How? Huh? Um. Okay, so Sione, Faya, nothing. No. Marizio. Um, I guess I'll remove my thieves tools from the door. You, you said they were stuck. Well, no, I said you're in the middle of trying to pick the lock. Oh. You can so stop if I... you want to stop trying. If you want to give should up Should I it. keep trying or something? Does it, like, lower the DC or...? No. Oh. It's just going to take a while to actually do it, is what he's saying. No, I'm just uh... saying you have to hit the DC before it's going to work. Oh, it doesn't take, like, a minute to pick locks or something? Uh, it does if you take ten. Oh, okay. Gotcha. You can take ten, but that's going to take a minute. And you're in combat. <laughs> This I would be a situation where you cannot take 10. Yeah. I didn't pass. Okay. Still working. 15. Um, Stupid locks. Oh, lock. Well, I will swing. You do not hit it. Which is too bad because that would have been 18 damage. You hit like a freaking freight train. <laughs> that's Ooh, that's max damage too. Uh, the Sin Spawn is once again going to lash out at someone. D6 of choosing. Tell It'll be Olak. <laughs> got a hard on for you. <laughs> We've got Bite. Fine. Claw. Cl oh. Ooh. Oh no. Not confirmed. Natural 20 on the Bite. That's four damage, and I need Olak to make a will save. Uh -oh. I really don't want you both <laughs> This is not yeah. a save you want him to fail. Okay. 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 <laughs> 25. Us, us duking it out. Um, Would not go well. We've tried that. Yeah, I'm not going to mess with that shit. I'd be like, peace. Okay, Olak. You feel the anger for a moment, but you're always angry. That's your secret, so that's no problem to you. You uh, shrug it off. Angry or bored. <laughs> and that takes it back to Celtiel. I'm tired of this. And uh, I'll move up here. Can I get an angle on seeing the thing above Olak or no? Do yeah. I need to get higher? Yeah, you can. I'd say you can do that. Okay. I'm going to pull my Alchemist Fire. <laughs> Love it. And throw it at it. Make a ranged attack. You got it. 14. <laughs> In this case, that will hit your target space. Really? Really. Doesn't that also splash? Yes, it does. Uh. Yep. Uh, He's just so mad. I got a check. I don't care. I, want I think everybody bad. takes one splash fire damage. Let's find out. Even me? Do I have it in my notes? No, 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 not even. No, it's... we're fine. But Miss 
Uh, I don't remember okay. if we get a refund save on it. It is... So roll a d6. Okay. 1d6. Mm -hmm. Okay. 6. Alright, well you killed him. <laughs> so it's a direct hit. He explodes in flames and shrieks, clutching at Olak one last time and then falling to the ground and continuing to burn. Uh, I'm just going to watch it burn. Olak and Mariziel each take one fire damage. Saltiel! No response, just watching him burn and smolder. Ow! <laughs> See, you didn't need my help. That is so rude. Oh, right, he got bit. I, uh... I, I know what that means, right? I would say yes, actually. Um, he's going to be very angry for a few minutes. Uh, Maybe just give him some space. Wait, is there anything we can do? I don't know, give him a chew toy. Olak, don't, don't, don't. My just give him some space. To Olak again. <laughs> can I grab like an arm? And like, I'm gonna slice it off with my sword. Here. Chew on this. Of the Sin Spawn. Yeah. Okay, it's still on what? fire. It is still on fire. Oh. You're giving me what? Still? Oh. A sin spawn arm? I thought it wasn't... Okay. It, it continues to burn for a little while. <laughs> Chop it off. I will can... keep working at these locks, by the way. You can now take ten if you'd like. Ah, uh, sure. Why not? Which would be a total I... of... Oh, uh... Gosh. Um... Yeah, actually, maybe I should roll, because it'd be 19. Oh, no, not enough. You could take 20 no. if you want, but that would take longer. Well, I'm already on 10. So I might as well. Okay. So you're just going to work on that lot quietly. Uh, for the next six minutes, uh, is there anything, Seltiel, you want to do or say or anything? Or? If no one says anything to me and just stares at me, I'm just going to stare at Olak with like, my sword's still out, kind of like playing with it in my hand, just kind of... Do you want a soap? How about a whistle? <laughs> Charcoal? Olak just, Olak, just give him some space. I'm gonna I'll over my shoulder. Every time he talks, I'll get a little closer to him. <laughs> Olak is having fun with this. <laughs> and I'll just start to point my sword out towards his throat. All right, this little is easily composed, so this is fun. <laughs> A lesson needs to be taught. <laughs> Quiet, you! <laughs> How hurt I'm does Sheltiel look? I'm gonna give them some space. Um... Uh, I'm... I look a little hurt. Like... Not, not like bleeding, but... I mean, he's not feeling good. Olak looks a little more hurt than Seltiel. I look half-composed. Oh. I'm a beautiful sponge. <laughs> Wink! <laughs> well, I'm pretty sure Olak can take care of himself a lot better than Celtio can help himself. So I'm gonna go. <laughs> Did you say no. that in character? Nope. Uh, <laughs> sure? is gonna go yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> okay. She's gonna go down the stairs and, like, open up her little pearl and boop Celtio on the nose, <laughs> healing him with the cure light wounds. <laughs> Uh, Celtiel, you get eight hit points. I'm still mad, I though, right? myself. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm yeah. I'm still mad. Yeah, right. absolutely. Now you feel good in your oh, life. <laughs> the pain lessens a bit, but the anger is still there. <laughs> I'll bat her hand away. That's for me. Give her an angry look. I don't need you. He doesn't mean it. <laughs> okay. She says on her knees, still working the lock. Lock. <laughs> <laughs> you wanna, you wanna hear something that's gonna drive you mad? Who? Mariziel. What? It was a DC twenty-two. <laughs> <laughs> you are able to get it. <gasps> so close. Finally, after a few minutes, like five minutes, and we'll say Celtiel, your wrath is finally waning, leaving you just tired. <sighs> Like after you know what it's like after an emotional outburst where you just feel yeah, drained. Yeah, just like I just need I just need to go to bed. <laughs> like, yeah, it's just do you want a hug? But the the lock pops open. Unfortunately, the gate still doesn't open. It seems to have rusted shut. <gasps> oh, I got it. <laughs> I'll try to kick it. 
make a strength Kick check. Kick it open. <laughs> oh, check. I maybe this will work. Well, I'll let you do your thing first. Natural 20. 22. Oh, it was good. also a DC 22. So, uh, Mariziel, <laughs> you slam into the gate and it... Uh, uh. Some of the rust breaks off. You grab it and, and it comes loose and you pull the jail cell open. You got it! You're an expert at opening doors. Yeah, one way or another. Just an empty room! It's a cell. <laughs> Can I look around in here and... Mm -hmm. Make a perception check. Okay. 18. 18. Okay. Uh, you are safely confident that there's nothing to be found in here. This is just some uh, dungeon cell. And I'll save hooray. you time and say that the you do the same with the, the cell to the south. Okay. What about the body? Can I look at the body? Uh, yeah, It's there's not much left of it. It got fried pretty, pretty heftily. Um, it's charred. The flesh has mostly melted off. There's just bits of scorched uh, sinew and muscle left behind. Uh, little small fires still burning in parts of the body. A foul stench coming off of it. The face has been pretty thoroughly destroyed. The alchemist fire was a direct hit to the face. Just kind of kick it with my toe. As far as you can tell, well, yeah. Uh, you, if you want to get, like, info about it, I guess it would be a medicine check. No, heal. I'm sorry, heal. It'd be heal. I just kind of want to see if he had any, like, interesting he was holding on to. No, no, he basically had nothing but the cloth rags he was wearing. <sighs> Not even armor. Well, this was pointless. Can we move on? For purposes of <laughs> anything that may come up in the future, this body would be considered destroyed. <laughs> no, dude. It's an interesting way of putting it. Did Faya cast Curly Wounds, or did you cast the Pearl on me? Pearl. It was the Pearl, but it had Curly Wounds in it. Did you switch it out the day before? Why would I switch it? He gave you a Pearl with Infernal Healing. It has Infernal, infernal healing. healing. Oh, yeah, then I must have. Okay, so then I healed a full. And there's nothing in this other cell. Correct. Okay. Other cell is empty. So there is a stone door to the west, and a corridor that leads east. Which has a weird blue circle on the ground. Yep. What'd you say was this to the west? That's a stone door. Oh. And to the east, you can see that there's a circular room. And Olak, with your dark vision, you can see a circular pool in the middle of the room. Ooh, is it a dark pool or is it a lighted pool? Go on in and you'll find out. <laughs> I'm gonna go on in. So I'm going to assume you guys are all moving into this this chamber. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I have detect come back magic to that going. Door. The room is... Wait, what? I have detect magic still going. Okay, understood. Um, the circular room is empty, save for a 10-foot wide pool filled with clear water. The water looks to be only six inches deep and is crystal clear, leaving the tiled decoration of a swirling vortex plainly visible on the pool's basin. And it radiates magic. Oh, to take magic. Yes, sir. Um, I believe it is knowledge arcana to know the school of magic. Well, strength and location. What's it strength? is faint. Okay. Okay, well, I am untrained. Wait, what? Oh, Olak, I didn't notice you were casting that as well. Yeah, I'm guessing. Seoni, did you want to do? Yeah, I rolled it. Okay, oh, Seoni, you know that it is conjuration magic. It would be a spellcraft check to try to identify what it is doing. Sure. Um, can I uh, still attempt that? Mm -hmm. 14. That one. Sammy, have... you're not sure how it works. Uh, spellcraft. Hmm. Aw. Yeah, you guys aren't really sure how it works, but it's definitely faint conjuration magic. This is conjuration magic, but they can't tell what it's for. And conjuration, isn't Without that casting summons? No summoning. Without casting detect magic, can I <coughs> check on that or no? Nope, you'd have to cast detect magic. Alright. Is it just conjuration? Mm-hmm. Maybe it's just creating an endless pool of water. I think. 
Oh! Oh, how's the water look like? Crystal clear. Does it look Just... delicious? Mm -hmm. Is there anything around the basin? Uh, there's the pattern uh, tiled on the <laughs> bottom of it, which is a swirling vortex. Kind of, that fills the entire bottom of the basin. Well, I will... I don't have... Hey, Fea, do you have any vials? Fea? Oh, for what? You want lots of? An empty one. <laughs> I'll give him the one with my failed healing potion went into. Was going to go into. Okay. Isn't, isn't it just crusted in there, then? I used my fingernail to get it out. Ugh. It's like wow, a it dirty so dish. Um, I, <laughs> well, I, I hear. Have... I have. I have one. <laughs> I have the healing potion in it that I used. No, oh, yeah, I still have one I had from the other healing potion that I had. I'll just use that one then. Okay. I'll fill it up and I will cast this on it. Nothing seems to happen. And I will drink it. <clears throat> Ooh. Okay. Uh, when you drink it, <coughs> something happens. You die. Does it summon you monsters? You heal nine hit points. Oh, cool. Hey, this water is great. Technically, not that it would do anything for you, but you are affected by lesser restoration. So if you had any... Re uh, any ability damage or anything like that. Hey, this water is great. It looks, it looks very nice. And did it taste like a potion? No, it tasted like water. Hmm. Hmm. It's not poisoned or anything. No, in fact, I feel better. Hmm. I'm gonna put some in a vial and just keep it. Okay. See you. Yeah, I'll refill this vial too. After I wait a couple minutes, does the vial still de does it detect as anything mm -hmm. by itself? Mm -hmm. okay. I will drink some. Okay. You also heal 1d8 plus 3 hit points. And are affected by a lesser restoration. Ooh. Do I get to roll that or? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Um. For your note purposes, you can put uh -huh. in that this heals 1d8 plus 3 hit points and affects you with lesser restoration when drug. If I had, like, a, if I just happened to have an empty potion of cure wounds, could I fill it up or no? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll do that. Then. I will I also note, however, well, yeah, okay, you said you're doing it, so I will just tell you this after that's done with. Go ahead and do your thing. Okay, I'll fill up the vial or whatever, the bottle. Um, the water will last for eight hours once you mm -hmm. fill a, a bottle. Your characters you was... wouldn't necessarily know that, but they'll find out in eight hours, and I don't think realistically I'm going to be able to track that. So be aware of that. Okay. <clears throat> you said That's it was um, 1d8 also, plus... 1d8 three. plus 3. Okay. So, actually, you rolled a one. That should have been three. Or four. I'm sorry. That should be four. Four, yeah. Uh, for you guys' benefit, you can only benefit from this once per day. Ah, oh, <laughs> penis. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. I needed it anyways. Well, someone else can benefit from it, right? Yeah, you can give it to one of us. Yeah. Is Faya standing next to me? I was gonna move up, but oh, okay. no, you're good. Nope. No, nope. no, 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 no! I'm standing you, next no, to you. No, you said you were gonna move up. That's fine. I didn't say it yet. You were going to though. Don't oh, worry about yeah. it. You gonna stop me from walking away? No. Okay. Okay. Daji will stay by you. You know, hasn't every single um dungeony rune lord place had like a pool that's somewhat like this that keeps her filling with water and has an effect of some sort. I know the Catacombs of Wrath sure did. Yeah. 
It did in Jade Regent, too. Yep. The one in the uh, desert have a pool like this? Yep. You guys are noticing a pattern. Hmm. Interesting. They also mostly have rune wells. <clears throat> uh, ah. Right. Ah. And for those of you uh, yeah. drinking it for the lesser restoration, it will heal 1d4 points of ability damage, not all of it. I misspoke earlier. That would be greater restoration. Mm -hmm. No, not even greater. That would be cleanse, I think. Right? No. I don't know. Mm. All right, oh. onwards. If I were to drink it, my strength would go back. Mm-hmm. Well, can I just dip my face in it? You'd have to drink it. <laughs> well, yeah, Water's good for you. Good. Quit complaining. I'll do both. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Faya splashes her web-crusted face into it. Oh yeah, uh, a little bit of blood it. and webs and grime comes off in the water. She pulls her face out. You can see the blood and grime still floating, just disappear. Hmm. Good to know. Hmm. Then I walk away. Well, this has just been magical. I kind of want to jump in there now. <laughs> oh god, please do. No, we'll do later. <laughs> All right, come on, let's go, white-haired ladies. You guys are moving on? Okay. You, you know, it's really alarming that that's true. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Where's the other white-haired lady that's... <laughs> <laughs> you guys all have white long hairs. Olaf feels left out. Mine is oh my blonde. God, <laughs> I've literally never noticed that. <laughs> I mentioned it last time. Olak like... and his white-haired beauties. <laughs> Called salty old lady. <laughs> don't don't feel bad, Olak. Dodgy doesn't have white hair. <laughs> For now. Um. So as you guys move south out of the out of the oh. pool chamber. Oh no, he's making a note. I'm in trouble. <laughs> Just saying that you're pretty, okay? Like, Did you, you see that's a compliment. As you guys move south out oh, of the no, pool I just, chamber. I just wrote Rar next to your name. In the picture that I drew of you. Oh. <laughs> you all have pictures. Then we'll... Oh, how cute. Guys, you can <laughs> see worry. the chambers ahead are clogged with spider webs. Again? And that is where we are going to end for tonight. No! Whew. Yay! Good We're stuff, dead. guys. We actually did... Well, you guys did something. I just kind of... held my spells. Like a stingy bitch. I mean, you've made your way down into the Thessalonian part of this place, past the mites, so that's something. I mean, there's still mites here, probably. Somewhere. Somewhere. Oh, I think they went the other direction. We don't ever have to worry about them again. 